I just started to watch Game of Thrones. I just started to watch Game of Thrones and I knew that the Red Wedding was gonna be a thing that happened. And so I was just like sitting in anxiety. Yeah. Until season three. And then I was like, oh no. Um so powerful. This though. is comparable to that feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that happened in season three of, of Game, Game of Thrones? Thrones. Yeah. The Red, the Red Wedding. Wedding. I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody. You see but- that? No, no. I, I watched all the way up to the Red Wedding and then I rage quit it, but I fully like have it happening in season one in my brain. <laughs> really? I'm yeah. just binging. Like it's all getting yeah. mashed up together. And I'm like, whoa, season five. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very good. Uh, a less important wedding than the Clay and Britannia wedding. A little bit. Mm. <laughs> Britannia Clay. Don't get it twisted. Britannia oh, first. Oh, Britannia Clay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Who paid for that wedding? Clan otherwise. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Who is uh, paying? There's a line where Blaine's like, "Where did they get all this stuff? Where did the uh, money come from to pay this?" Her mom uh, is yeah. Gloria Estefan. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Miami Sound Machine. Come on. <laughs> uh, last week on Glee Boot, Sheldon Beast returned to school. And was hate crimed by vocal adrenaline led by Clint, a robot that no one loves. And uh, Will decided to finally quit the vocal adrenaline paying job. And he's going to help Kurt and Rachel. And Emma actually appeared instead of just the back of her head played by someone else. <laughs> That's what you missed on Gleevo. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... What an episode. I love there's a mention of the uh, minority choir in this episode. Made me mm-hmm. laugh. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, wow. It feels like two different shows. <laughs> Last week and this week. Dude, for <laughs> real. And even moving on to next week, like to jump forward in time, Myron has an entire storyline. Uh, I can't even <laughs> begin. Myron like, the- hasn't even been introduced. <laughs> I know that we're literally jumping the gun and you and we have fully not even been introduced yet. Um, as, <laughs> but we're but, so excited. But and, and we are jumping the gun to the end of this episode. But this is Britanna, uh, Britanna's like final scene in the series. I I don't stand for I lived. That that's not canon for me. Um, this is Britanna's final scene and characters are still being introduced after Britanna's final scene. That like that's sacrilegious to sick. me. That's yeah. wild. So That's weird. wild. Because I mean, I was doing our like our ne- our invites for our next two episodes, like our this is the time, blah, 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 you know. And I was like realizing just how few episodes are left. And two of those episodes are a two-part finale that mm-hmm. are kind of an epilogue more than a finale. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and yeah, Myron isn't even in the show. No, like, not even in the show yet. The child star. Phineas, it's okay. Also not in it's the show okay, yet. Alyssa. I don't <laughs> I understand what they're saying either. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> because I knew this you episode what, happened. You, you know, Billy Eilish's brother is in Glee. That's what I'm telling mm-hmm. you. That's what we're well, saying. I forget that. I. This is so <laughs> fun to be back so long after our last recording. So yeah. long. Like catching oh up. <laughs> Uh, yeah it is the uh, holidays <laughs> <laughs> uh, the holiday season has begun Glee Boot. welcome back to Glee Boot, the show where we get drunk and talk about rebooting Glee one episode at a time I'm Cullen Alyssa and I'm Hannah and today we have Glee podcast superstars Andrew and Allison of Glee of the Week oh Hi. my god Ooh, superstars literally superstars <laughs> what was the episode we talked about with y'all literally a year ago a year and a half what? is it it was, was sweet it that dreams. long ago outcast sweet Outcasts. dreams yeah 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 was yeah. that outcast yeah oh, that was outcast you know what I this is got... outcast in it too this episode right yeah, it does that's who's saying <laughs> <laughs> full, full circle, circle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I discovered? Uh, I found just YouTube suggested this to me, a cover oh, no. of more friends than you know, like an acapella <laughs> um, cover. And I was like, no, no like no. no one covered this. And then because I clicked on that video, more covers of more friends than you know, there are multiple choirs mm-hmm. that have covered more friends than you know i think wow. it's giving choir though i think it's like that yeah. song is asking for choirs to touch it you know what i mean <laughs> not glee club specific choirs. Exactly. Yeah. choirs 
Jubilee like children's choirs, like for the right. parents, this is the one you can nap during. Like dad can <laughs> yeah. close his yeah. eyes. Yeah. No <laughs> one's having a vocal standout <laughs> moment in more <laughs> friends than you know. Yeah. So you've been you've been having some you've been talking to some Glee Project alums. Yeah. So good. Cast members. You've just been being superstars. Oh, yeah. We... All over the place. The basis of our show is a little bit different than um, any of the other Glee podcasts that might be out there. We're working through the Glacket, um, mm-hmm. as you are, or as we are deeply familiar. Um, <laughs> it is a Glee bracket, Andrew's brainchild. And yes. it is, we every episode we randomly draw six songs and put them head to head to see who's going on to the next round of the glacket we're almost done with the first round oh my god wow. really? but, i think i think we're we're gonna be done like in the spring but like we've March, been at yeah. this for for it, i mean the first round did take two years to incubate fully yeah. so yeah um, yeah truly it, it, i mean and you joined us for mm-hmm. six of those songs and yes. you helped along the mm-hmm. way um we've we've been finding people are are upset with some of the choices and um people are really really into the glacket and um we're aware of of how into the glacket they are and how they may or may not ride for white christmas um <laughs> and it's like okay white christmas not seeing the light of day in the second round uh is a thing that Allegedly. I'm like trying to remember the cover of White Christmas. Is that where they're <laughs> see the thing to sue? There, White Christmas is in the season four Christmas episode where Clayne is on the Bryant Park ice skating. Oh ring. yes, yeah. oh, that's nice. um, yes. that we had my parents on for that one. Yeah, um, nice. <laughs> I I it was that Christmas episode and not season five's Christmas episode. Yeah, if I had shown them season five, I would not have parents anymore. They would have disowned me. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that my dad called Blaine hair product. He's like, oh. I know what's it? His friend, hair product. Yeah. And me and him have that good. in common. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't think it was a bad cover but like i wouldn't stand white well, christmas just, just to put it in perspective it was against the bitches back slash dress you up um the famous rider unique duet from yes. season four okay that duet kind of slaps like, yeah, it's not absolutely. like what no, I... it doesn't kind of slap it absolutely does it absolutely yeah. slaps. <laughs> it's not like what i would immediately seek out but it comes on and you're like oh yeah this is nice okay. yeah yeah i'll hear this out yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah. you guys don't make the rules, you just enforce them. Like, exactly. can we just enforce them? It's We're not just the face of the rules. Andrew's yeah. <laughs> glacket, it's not my glacket, it's our glacket. And it's everyone's. Mm-hmm. Nobody, not everybody's going to be happy, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Random mm-hmm. chance. You know? Has has more friends than you know come up in the glacket yet? It has, and it didn't go through, but I'm trying to remember what it lost to. Literally Something anything. Easy. <laughs> yeah. I, Leah Michelle sneezing. You know, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Liam, it lost to a Rachel sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I listened to your your Damien episode. Thank uh, you. I was very excited. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we did make fun of his Christmas movie, but I do love him. Santa fake. We yeah. watched it. We had a Christmas special where we watched Santa Fe. Yeah. Santa yep. Fe is actually kind of great. I kind of love it. Can I, I have never seen it. Can I guess the plot just from the name? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to say that somebody dresses up as Santa Claus, but he's not Santa Claus. Oh, that's okay. good. That's wow. good. It's yeah. a ruse and he has to continue to be Santa Claus. I mean, mm. Yeah. I mean, like a a mall Santa. Yeah. mm -hmm. Kind of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fun fact, it's it's a play on words for the location of where the film takes place. Oh, Santa Fe. Yeah. 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 Oh, so they in Mexico. Yeah. And then I think we also talked about how, like, when Brittany, uh, when, uh, what what is his name? Heather Morris. No, no, his character in Glee. What's in Glee, they make Rory. a Santa Fe Rory. reference. They, they don't take him to Santa Fe when they go for Christmas. Yeah, or something like that. Exactly. Because, and because so, Rory thinks in Rory. Glee that Santa Fe means gay Santa, which yes. I think is one of the a hidden oh. gems. <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, a fun little connection there. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we Sting. might. 
uh, we've been brewing a p- potentially doing a Christmas special involving Cord's new movie with Lindsay Lohan. Oh, I'm Please very stars. excited about this. Yes. No, I'm very. I mean, she, the fact that the trailer came out on October third, they know what they're I mean, doing. They yeah, do. it was October third. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, I'm very excited for that movie. It was very fun to talk to Damien on our show. We've really leaned into the past couple of months talking to people who actually listen to the podcast, our mm. listeners, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's been super, super fun to actually talk to people who are like, when you said this about this, that was crazy. Or when you said this about this, wow. Instead of having to be like, so like, this is the black so and um, yeah. Hey Damien, yeah. so like, we're going to watch six songs from this show. Yeah. Um, so it's been, it's, it's been a cool era for us. I'm very yeah. excited about it. I mean, the fans are part of what make the magic of Glee. Exactly. That's, Glee yeah. by the Gleeks, you know? Glee by the Gleeks, mm. by the Gleek of the week. Yeah. Uh, they are the Gleeks of the week. Truly. Yeah. Exactly. Showing up every single week. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, I was thinking, like, listening, I was like, it's probably a lot, like, if I was an actor, like, to talk about the music of Glee is a lot easier than trying to, like, A, remember the plot of what was going yep. on. And, like, right. we basically roast an episode. Yeah. And, like, it'd be, like, awkward to come on and, like, roast your own show. Yeah. Um, that's we'll see exactly. how Kevin and Jenna's podcast goes, because I feel like... Yeah. That's my thing. I'm really interested to see what new... Like, Andrew and I were talking about, like, what new takes do you have right. on like, these yeah. episodes? Yeah. Yeah, because like, I... They did a few episodes in their initial yeah. podcast. They mm-hmm. started doing recaps and then they mm. stopped i think because of naya's death which i was like right. that makes sense that's probably very traumatic right. to kind of go through that so soon but i mean it's been a couple of years but i mean ryan murphy was the guest yeah mm. the there's a people article i only read like the headline um it said that it was he said that it was therapeutic to discuss the show like controversial glee cover uh with him um so yeah definitely I'm really excited to. I I have a, a newfound respect for him. I I after listening to that interview, I yeah because like for the longest time I was like stop like, I think that Glee fans, the Gleeks, if you will, um they they really like to attack Ryan Murphy as the face of this, which by all means <laughs> yeah sure he is, <laughs> but um it's like they're for like very minute things that it's like damn you ryan murphy for not remembering this very minute detail and it's like he wasn't even there for that he was doing <laughs> yeah. american God horror Coven. story yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah he was chill. on scream queens at this yeah yeah so oh, yeah scream him, queens was at yeah. this point yeah and so him saying things like you know getting green light after green light which he did in um that first episode of like hey like you just like being asked to do things after glee's success so like just to continue the path he's like i'm i like i've just been so used to no's so he just Mm -hmm. keeps on saying yes to things and i think that he just left his 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 first child behind you know yeah yeah uh that's i I think that's yeah i think that's fair um we'll see how the new documentary goes but i do consider i do consider a meme a, a success when you guys share it i'm like it's so good oh my every God. time. Your memes, I'm like I, I almost feel like I'm doing it too much sometimes. I'm like, <laughs> I like, literally think they're so hilarious. Helen they're will so send them good. to me, and I'm like, I'm dead. Like, how did you think of this? <laughs> well, it's like we were in LA last week, and like we were walking down literally Hollywood Boulevard, and I was like, look at the like the honey, you've got a big storm coming. With us. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is so funny. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. It was like, why didn't they do Carol King? And we're like, <laughs> like <"Ooh>, honey, <laughs> yeah, got a big storm coming. They're gonna do it in the worst possible way. Stop yeah, <laughs> yeah. Our our guest really loved that episode, and we were yeah, like, little tapestry. Yeah, we were like, yeah, mm. yeah. Interesting. Some people, some people may say it's gold. People, I think it is. I think there's. Britannia moments, um, okay. but mo- the songs don't stand out, and oh. I mainly remember Britney making a very fat phobic joke about Blaine and Karofsky's sex life. Yeah. Wait, can you <laughs> yeah, repeat it? It was. Um, it's like a, mounting a moped. It was like a, a truck. Yeah, yeah. Truck mounting a moped. It's like yikes. 
Yikes. Well, I feel like there's like one like really terrible joke per episode. True. <laughs> At yeah, least. but yeah. one hand in my pocket, I feel the earth move. I mean, what? I think I said it was the best song of the episode. Yeah. It's the only one I can really remember. The best song of season six? I think so. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> also, I, I and like I kind of talked about this with like Cullen before. I was like, I think I'm suffering from glee fatigue because I just like I feel like I'm so negative about all these episodes, except for today's. I was kind of like, I'm loving this, whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I think that's really what it is. It's like I'm just so ready for it to be over. Mm-hmm. yeah because yeah, so. we spent so long like watching week to week if we don't have like usually you'd have like a summer break in between yeah. seasons yeah. like when you're watching IRL and we like we did a couple months and people were like where are you and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> like all right okay chilling yeah I had to go to therapy <laughs> yeah <laughs> across real. the country I'm getting married like yeah yeah. I feel like a lot of the Glee podcasts are going through the same thing like this feels like <laughs> therapy because I feel like a lot we're we've been doing this for two years, mm-hmm. talking about the same show, right? Every single week, and it's like. <sighs> and I feel like I do this thing every time that I go on a on a podcast that I I talk to Allison after, and I'm like, I can't believe that I said this negative thing about our podcast on a podcast like promoting our own podcast, <laughs> right? <laughs> But like people will like message us and be like, stop saying the same thing about like, stop saying that in season five, they're dressed like it's Easter. And I'm like, I don't have a new thoughts anymore. I, <laughs> like, I sim- All of my thoughts are old. It's like you asked for weekly Glee content in 2022. Un- unfortunately, you're going to get recycled content every this once in a while. Getting. Yeah. 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 Everybody <laughs> does recycled content now. Yeah. Stop. I mean, because I remember the first Glee podcast I listened to, this was like, before the Glee podcasting boom. Okay. Uh, like, this is when I was first getting into podcasts. I was like, I wonder if Glee has a podcast. And I was listening to it. And I think it was because there were a lot of guests that hadn't watched Glee at all, like the majority mm-hmm. of them. And it was only one host. So there were a lot of repeat discussions. And I remember being oh. like, that was part of I was like, we could do this better. We could do this, you know? Like, I was yeah. Like, but now I kind of, I, I still think that it was part of it was the format, but I also kind of get that like at a certain point, you're like, yep. yeah Yeah, like what else yeah you you can't be like this writing is because you're like what are we expecting this is season six of glee you know i don't have any thoughts about moving out by blan and sam i'm sorry i just don't (laughs) yeah empty (laughs) yeah (laughs) it was just another musical montage from Lima to new york exactly especially when i we don't have time it's randomly pulled so we don't know what we're going to be talking about in the episode so it's like i don't have time to prepare my thoughts on moving out anthony's song Mm -hmm. exactly i could come up with some bits but i don't have any time (laughs) yeah i mean and honestly i we have time and sometimes i'm just like i don't know what they're you know (laughs) these poor season six newbies (laughs) Okay, yeah, wait, can we talk about this? Because this is where Allison and I differ. That okay. I am with you, Cullen, that season six newbies should be held on like the highest pedestal and the season four new kids are just like trash. Allison doesn't doesn't stand mm. with, with us in that regard. Now, can I can I say my yeah. piece? Yeah, Absolutely. yeah go, ahead, go ahead. What I will <laughs> say is that I think that the season six newbies, their new storylines are very exciting. But I don't think I can't live off of a little teaser trailer, you know, mm-hmm. I got to yeah. have the whole movie, even if the whole movie sucks. <laughs> at least I got a whole movie out of it instead of an exciting teaser. Yeah. The season six is not fleshed out enough for me to yeah. even enjoy it. Season four, the storylines, again, recycled content, but at least I got a full story in depth. I learned that Ryder has dyslexia. <laughs> Like, I minutes. forgot about that. Yeah. At least yeah. I know that now, you know? I don't know what Jane <laughs> And you're does a better person for it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what Spencer is doing at home. I don't care. All I hope is it's not <laughs> uh, making, day. making yeah. Instagram Post, posts. Not like other days. <laughs> yeah. Making Instagram posts after your first date, writer. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my yeah. God. We forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, it's like, yeah. I know that. <laughs> But you hey, didn't, yeah. I know yeah. that. I know that. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you watch a full movie and the movie sucks, you wasted a huge chunk of your lifetime. And if you watch a teaser trailer, it's still entertaining. And you only wasted five minutes. But like my life. brain, I agree. brain, it's wrapped up like a little present. I can put it away. 
and accept mm. the time yeah. I've wasted. The teaser trailer, I'm always like, where is it going? What am I doing? Yeah. How am I getting there? Where are we going? What am I doing? I, and I see both. I see I see both sides now. Uh, but like, yeah. but really, like, because I think if you were in season four, if we're writing season four and you pitch me the two groups of newbies, I'd pick the season six yes. newbies. Yes. But at yeah. this point, based on how the show is, I know more about Marley and I guess I'm a little more invested in like mm-hmm. whatever happened to that girl. And like, exactly. well, but also like unique is a very she interesting a character. Right? Right? Six yes. newbies plus unique. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's and the like, perfect mixture. Dream team mm. right there. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> But like still there's... not enough to go to a competition, but a dream team nonetheless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. Like Jane has had a storyline. Nothing. No, she doesn't speak. <laughs> she no, doesn't. She doesn't. She's speaks. other girl. Yeah. Other yeah. Girl. <laughs> yeah. Kitty would have gone racial, as we said. Oh my god, I totally agree. I think about that every time I watch that scene. I'm like, okay, Kitty, you're holding back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I think like the next episode after that, she says something like horrible. I was like, that's the kitty we know and hate. Yeah. At least, like, okay, my major gripe with Jane is that baby girl does not know how to dress. Well, whoever's <laughs> dressing Jane, True. I'm just like, what is yeah. this fit? Every single fit is absolutely disgusting. It's worse than Kurt <laughs> fits. Well, like, the twins, I feel like, are always giving 100 and 10% in the back corner. I feel yes. like you get to see them in the background the most. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, I'm like, we know nothing about them. Spencer, what we do know about him is like, I'll pass. I don't need, I, I'd rather not I watch. I need more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Roderick, you know, very interesting um, mm-hmm. and an amazing voice. Yes. But, right. you know, Glee has a lot of trouble with like humanizing like super not skinny humans. people. But mm-hmm. also yeah. just humans. Well, yeah. But yeah, you know, as we, as we saw with Rory, even like Irish is a hard identity for them. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> That's really diverse. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, these season six newbies, I'm like, but also just imagining being in that glee club where the lessons are so regularly about other people that have graduated. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I like, mean, like this week's lesson is truly traveling to Indiana and yeah. literally s- singing background in a barn. Yeah. Yeah. For a <laughs> wedding. Setting up for this wedding that for people that you don't you know. Don't know. Who's don't know. So yeah. they, these people are coming up to their parents. Hey mom, I'm going to Indiana for a weekend for uh the wedding of my teacher's lesbian right. frenemies. <laughs> Not even my teacher, it's this 21-year-old girl who paid to run this club. <laughs> Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I would be, if I was a parent, I'd be like, no, I'm not signing that yeah. permission slip. Yeah. You're and also, staying where are they home. sleeping? Where are they staying? Like, is in that the bar. Are in they the bar. being watched? Yeah, yeah. There's, like, there's like the hay beds, right? Wait, wait a minute. I, I'm glad, so glad that you brought this up because whose house is that behind the barn? Who's, who is, <laughs> who, who lives has, there? Who lives the there? In the front of the barn and in the back of the barn. It's the Amish. Wait. Is it really the Amish? Yes, there's well, a she did the say it was, she yeah. said it was oh, Amish butter. country. Yeah, oh, she has a whole okay. ex- explanation Dang. about how she gives birth at the top to, of the episode. To bring yeah. Yeah. They're in Amish country, mm. and the only thing there Love is a it. barn. My mm-hmm. first yeah. note was, "Is Brittany Christ?" <laughs> yes, she was born I, in a no barn. room at the end. She was yeah. licked by a, a donkey or a sheep. You know, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I think we knew that before this episode. I think so. Yeah. 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 You know, <laughs> I, I think savior. I would I would watch a uh, adaptation of the Bible, the whole thing where Jennifer Coolidge plays Mary. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, Why isn't that a thing already? Wait, that's yeah. good. You would think. I was thinking that first scene of this episode where Jennifer Coolidge is fully just explaining the birth of Britney. I'm like, wait a minute. Does is Jennifer Coolidge's two scenes where she actually talks in this series explaining Britney's conception? Where she like in Literally, the first scene, yeah, yeah. She just origin explains story. how she got <laughs> pregnant. And then this scene, she just explains how she gave birth. And it's like, yeah. okay, that's the end of story. That's end of Jennifer Coolidge. Yeah. 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 Though I do wonder if this scene, I I we're getting a lot. We feel like uh so none of Sam's lines are actually written this season. Cord is improv everything he's doing. <laughs> And I love uh, that fact. I think yeah. that's yeah. That's allegedly. That's, allegedly. allegedly. Not allegedly. It's, <laughs> it's Bannon. It's real. Put us in the documentary. We'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's uh yeah? And I I don't think Jennifer Coolidge. I think they tell her okay. Stephen Hawking is Britney's father. Go go for Brittany it. Brittany was born right. in this barn. Go. Yeah. You know? 
And she delivers. Yeah, yeah. Literally, the, she delivers yeah, Brittany in this deliver. the season She pantomimes the, it. The season six scripts are 10 pages long. <laughs> it's all just like him. Go Bro. ahead, do your thing. That's how they got it done so quickly, and they're like, "All right, we're done. We just gotta shoot everything." Awesome. I, I think the, the ten pages are simply just the songs. They're like, "Okay, connect <laughs> <Yep>. them." <laughs> the copy and paste. It's, an outline. it's just a treatment. <laughs> they're gonna be singing "Hey Ya." They're gonna be singing "At Last." <laughs> Which isn't the song "Hey Ya" about like not getting married, basically, like how the, that marriage isn't really. Like, why nothing lasts forever? Why is love the exception? I don't want your mother. I love that you're mother. deconstructing this, um, this outcast well, song that I've never thought about. Because I love this. I just like the beat. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, I, because I played it at a church dance. Ooh. And I think was it was a DJ? controversial. Were you no, a DJ? I, so the, I was the DJ. So it was like the senior, the fundraiser. Uh, what was your DJ name? For the senior, it was just Cullen. It was the, the, the fundraiser. <laughs> just Cullen. <laughs> No, I just made an JC. iTunes playlist to put it on. JC! <laughs> see, Jesus uh, uh, yeah, but they... Uh, that's why Pope Francis actually canceled you, Kellen. He yeah, tried to face. appropriate JC. JC, mm-hmm. yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was unbaptized or declared not to be baptized correctly, and that is not a joke that did happen to me. <laughs> oh, God. God. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, yeah, they... Sorry, like we recycled a, some content there. Yeah, it was a... <laughs> Sorry, a, y'all. <laughs> a fundraiser dance. And they were like, one of the senior class had to pick the music. So I did. And usually it had to be approved by the priest. But he was like, it's Colin. That's fine. Um, but the, the parents were upset because I played Bad Romance. Mm-hmm. And a very tame outcast. song. Yeah, I'm like, and not, it plays in the grocery store. I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't you opt for good romance? <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> And uh, I think if I die young was a controversial choice as oh, well. Why? Because like it encourages suicide. It makes people okay. Want to die. I... <laughs> yeah, it was. This moment was bitter, and my mom was like, "I don't know. He just put the playlist together." I'm just. <laughs> yeah, they're like, "This means nothing. He's 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 still a kid, you know." Right. Let's... It was like stuff you heard on the radio. They're like, "He's playing Katy Perry." I'm like, "Yeah, firework." <laughs> I want to see your peacock. Not peacock, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about a wedding is the name of the episode. And yeah, we just kind of jumped into it starts there in the barn. Gloria Stefan is there. Artie the wedding planner. Don't know why he's not at film school. Is he the wedding planner or is he the director? Because Kurt kind of becomes the wedding planner the, the next the scene. wedding director yeah, truly. <laughs> producer. Maybe. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The wedding industrial complex is very confusing to me. <laughs> Well, Literally. speaking of that, speaking of that, as someone who, you know, had to, to get married on a faster timeline because I may be losing rights because of the government, Alyssa was at my wedding. Um, it was not super fancy, but it's still like it wasn't easy to plan, but it was we planned it in about a month. And thinking of the timeline of like when they get engaged and it hasn't been sectionals yet, mm-hmm. you know, but also yeah. they don't have their dresses yet. Yeah, the people who are supposed dresses. to be the only yeah. ones getting married today. Okay, nothing about this yeah. was on well, a no, timeline at all. It was frivolous. <laughs> Wait, we're watching the same show. They've had weddings in the past where <laughs> You're it's right. been exclusively the <laughs> Again, week of. <laughs> we are exhausted by this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like around you. <laughs> I know. I need fair. it. I do need it. I really but do. You never see them trying to plan the wedding. It just sort of happens magically. And we're like, oh, okay. The Burt Carroll wedding, I remembered like the first scene of the episode is like yeah. Burt and Carroll like 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 harassing Kurt and Finn in the in the hallways. And they're like, we just got engaged. We gotta get we gotta get married by the end of this 45 minutes. Hurry, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was so long ago. Yeah, but like it's just weddings usually take a year to plan mm-hmm. roughly. The average American wedding people plan about over a year. Mm-hmm. And this if is you have enough money. I'm sure you could get it done in a day or you know, yeah. just throw it together. Day, but Where did the no. money come from? Or go yeah. to Vegas. Doesn't cost that yeah. much. Hundred bucks. They're mm-hmm. extremely rich. This is but now. I've my been to proposal. barn weddings that were planned over a year. You know, like yes. yeah. the right. wedding yeah. they have, like my wedding was nice, but it's like one you could tell wasn't planned over the course of a year. 
but like okay. this is one that looks like it was planned over the course well, I'm, of at least what, a few months. <laughs> what I'm fully obsessed with is um, Artie asking once they arrive at the barn, why are we doing this in a barn and not at all like on the ride over state lines? Like, yeah, where, where are we going? You know, Toledo like, to Indiana. It's a couple hours. They it, have time to talk. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They were just completely, or it was like Artie, like, where are they taking me? Like, I want to know. I want to be in that car. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're giving Brittany a storyline or a backstory in the 11th hour yeah. Yeah. that I really don't feel is necessary. Like the no. entirety of season six, like the Stephen Hawking shit. No. I'm just like, no, I like the Jennifer mystique. Coolidge. Oh, it's, I feel like it's just for Jennifer Coolidge to flex a little bit. Yeah, To be like season six of Glee, I was on it. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> Here's some two monologues that I did. Exactly. <laughs> she does them at auditions. Yeah. yeah, she needed to really boost her resume. She's exactly. suffering or something. Yeah, it is there's always been a thing with Brittany is that she was introduced as a joke character. Yes. And mm-hmm. became like a lead. Top build. <laughs> top build and now i'm really? just having literally in this moment i'm like i'm mr krabs in that meme where he's like shaking i'm like is britney the andy dwyer slash chris pratt of glee because oh, andy was supposed to be a bit character right. yeah i think mm-hmm. so i could yeah. see what you're saying yeah and like he became he went from like kind of mm-hmm. animosity like antagonistically dumb to like just sweet and innocent dumb yeah i feel like that's kind of what happened with britney it started with like heather morris getting pregnant and them having to quickly write her off without truly thinking about how they were going to write her off i i I feel where they were like let's just send her to mit and say that she's smart and for the rest of the series like it's like it's like a weird britney it's like this is not the britney we know is she's i feel like this entire episode i was i one of the notes that i wrote down was like who is writing for Britney here? Like no, this is literally, yeah. you will hear me say this multiple times in this episode, character assassination. It yeah. characters mm. are acting out of pocket in this episode. Uh, Nothing makes fucking yeah. sense. And it well, starts yeah. with like Britney. Every episode yeah. in season six anyway. Yeah, I think yeah. there's some people yeah. that say they really like season six Britney characterization. And I I think there are moments like I like that idea, like when she sells uh, fondue for two to Univision. I think that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> I think we've said this multiple times that Britney should have been an influencer. Like I think mm. that wasn't as concrete of an idea then, mm-hmm. especially if the writers are, you know, they're not like they're a little older. Like I'm not saying they were yeah. old, but like you know, they're not like I don't know, eighteen. You know, they're not right. in that like moment. So I get why it's a little behind, but like Britney. Like it makes sense. Like people, people would eat fondue for two up. Like that would be huge really? on the internet. Like yeah. this is this is Jenna Marbles. This is Miranda Singh's era. Like right, yeah. And if they had gone in that route instead of like MIT, yeah, I, she could I, have kept her initial characterization. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Well, we yeah. need a glee boot. That's oh, just well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also in this scene. The moms are fighting for no reason. Right. Like, uh, I noticed yeah. that for the first time this time. I was like, wait, oh. why are they fighting? Yeah, yeah. there's like tension. Yeah. Oh, never, it doesn't never go addressed. anywhere. I thought maybe yeah. it was going to be like a D plot or something. And it's yeah. just it's for that. It's just one like, scene. Ah. Oh. right. Okay. Something. Again. Something I just forgot. <laughs> we we have got we strayed so far from the initial premise of our podcast that we drank. Like we've totally forgotten that. <laughs> Is anyone drinking? Oh, yes. yeah. apple pie yes. wine. Uh, I'm random not strawberry anything. white claw. Oh, white claws. Two white claws. Two white claws. Two white claws. Not I, drinking anything. Andrew, is yours a surge? It is a surge, regrettably, yeah, so- and I I didn't want to bring attention to it. <laughs> no, um, let's bring attention to it because I don't I like surge. Last week. Yeah, yeah. Last it week. was gross. They're act. They're so gross, and okay. I, I, yeah. I'm glad and I'm here. I am one. admitting it publicly that I am drinking a surge. Yeah, we can it, cut it if you want. No, no, let's keep it in. We'll I want everybody that, to know yeah. that I'm trash. It's more cost effective to me if I want to fucking yeah. get smacked. Yes. Then I want to like buy the more alcohol. I'm sorry. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't apologize. No. Thank you. That's correct. <laughs> I'm having an autumnal tea mixed with fireball. Okay. Oh. Hmm. 
Yeah, it yeah. actually tastes good because the tea already has cinnamon in it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. The, the fireball is still labeled the piss of Lilith from my potion themed birthday party. <laughs> I, I labeled all the drinks different potions and I love. Yeah. That's good. All right. Yeah. So yeah, they are, yeah, there's just they're starting this wedding and uh they're gonna get married in a barn. I have been to a barn wedding in Michigan. Uh it rained and mm. there was Lucky. a lot of mud. <laughs> And someone, they we needed to move people's cars. Like we need to physically push cars out of the oh. mud. Oh, yeah. No. And this is classic Mark, my friend Mark from college, who one time I said, you're so needy and I don't know how to please you. You're like a girlfriend, which was very sexist. But also if you knew Mark, it was a, it was, it destroyed him. And I was really proud of myself. <laughs> oh. But uh Mark was Mark could be a dick sometimes. And so he was like, they asked for help. And Mark's like, yeah, we'll go do it. So I get up to go do it. Turn around. Mark didn't get up. What he the just fuck? volunteered me. <laughs> to oh, push gosh. the goddamn wow, cars in the mud. Yeah. Wow. wow. An orchard wedding. There was no barn now. It was really pretty. Yeah, an orchard wedding sounds sounds lovely. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, not to flex, but we just went on the Paramount Studios tour <laughs> and now and saw a bunch of glee sets. And now that every, every single episode I watch now, uh, this is the first one since we've gotten (laughs) home on (laughs) Thursday, but every time I notice that this is a soundstage. Yeah. This is just a soundstage. Not, not the, not the barn though. Yes, it is. is. No, it is. No. Yeah. No, there is behind the scenes footage of them actually on a goddamn barn on a barn in a barn it has to be because that the no. background behind curtain blame and santana and britney when the doves fly that is not real like you no, realize it is. that it's they might all they might have both regrettably and i i don't i'm looking up for you allison <laughs> show me the pictures oh, do you want to see the pictures okay. i want to see the pictures because i i have seen the outside scene where they're sitting at the barrels i do not believe that that is the same thing as the they, inside they might have intercut um no. and i i just no. remember yeah they may have duplicate sets there's like clean they're like outside of this barn and right. i remember okay. that a lot of them they're literally wearing jackets yeah, yeah. because it's on top of the tux it's cold that, because it's yeah. cold because it's not paramount studios yeah lot. yeah no in my brain i'm gonna live in it okay i'll let you live on that hill (laughs) if they had to reshoot any of those um shots they probably reconstructed it in the stage yeah i do remember because i'll get into this later but like being very very emotional because naya this was like the last episode that like we knew going into this episode that this would be like santana and britney's final episode and I remember Naya made a post of like her walking away from a camera. It was very dramatic. And she's wearing the fit that she's wearing in the first episode of this, uh, the first scene of this episode. Um, so uh, obviously she comes back for I Lived, but this is like, this is- Wait, so when it first came out, like aired live on TV? Yes. They, it was like already known that this was going to be their last episode? Yeah, I forget why exactly, but it was like this is this is them wrapping up Santana and Britney's storyline. Yeah. But I feel as though even watching it today, I was like, it does feel like a wrap up. There's there They're isn't done. much more to do yeah, with these not characters. Really yeah. sense there. Well, and at yeah. this point, they've both kind of both Britannia and Clayne are blurt as we like to call them. Uh, are only exist blurt. as with romantic goals. You yeah. know, they don't really yes. have any career-ish no. outside goals to, like, pursue. Because um, I know a lot of people are upset that there is no, like, what are Brittany and Santana doing in the future? Right. And mm-hmm. it's because I don't think the writers, like, knew or care. <laughs> they don't care. No. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's mm-hmm. also weird because the core cast has fluctuated so much to the point where it's, like, Santana was almost, like, one of the leads for a while. And now yeah. it's, like... Yeah. She's like a guest starring Santana Lopez. Yeah. Yeah. And Mercedes Truly. is there, but she's, I don't think Mercedes has a storyline this season. She's literally uh, Rachel Berry's emotional support Black person. Yeah. And this is like the tiniest bit about 
her and Sam, but it's not a fully big storyline. It's literally just like a no, we're just friends. Like we can be yeah. friends even though we were not lovers, I guess. Yeah. And I have an off-screen new boyfriend that you should be really threatened by. Yeah. yeah it's and that's kind of yeah, I think you're right. That's, that's kind of it. Yeah. So. Yeah. So uh yeah, they're trying their their dresses on to just I was so confused it's not a glee cover it's just a song playing right that's my thing <laughs> is like it could have been a glee cast version by glee cast right here and it's yeah. also I don't love the song it's no, I don't know anything not. about it oh, didn't listen to the beautiful. lyrics I was like this is boring <laughs> yeah it's, and I love a, a fashion montage don't get me wrong do, this song yeah. poor right. choice poor choice no sapphic energy at all yeah, I'm, I'm missing the the lesbian energy. Mm, yeah, they feel like gal pals, right? Yeah, just two close friends. I think yeah. they, they probably like owed someone a favor. Like the the singer of this song, yeah. they were like, oh god, oh, we maybe. still owe them a favor. I guess we'll just put them in this montage. You yeah. know. Yeah. And the, the um, thing about fashion montages is, I feel like there's usually at least one outfit that all the characters respond to, like ew, and you're like, oh, but like wait. that's actually nice. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah. I, yes. There was one outfit Brittany was wearing that was like just a very nice wedding dress. Yes. <laughs> where it was like, it was like almost like the sleeves. It was like down. It was like bell. I don't yeah. know. So good. Yeah. yeah. And she looked like gorgeous. And they're like, ew. And you're like, yeah. Okay. It was like a specific shot of like Tina being like, ew. And like holding up the no <laughs> sign. I'm like, okay, <laughs> leave. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> I was surprised that they didn't have like the mothers there, especially if they had yeah. the, the, yeah. the the little scene with them, like Tiff, you know, yeah. like yeah, yeah. Um, Got written the cards, out. It wasn't in the, the yes pages. and the no cards. I feel like that was a good touch. <laughs> That's a good mm. idea. It's the way to yeah. do it. I watched Say Yes to the Dress. Yeah, Say Yes to This actually needs less talking from people in the peanut <laughs> gallery signs. and more yeah. signs. <laughs> yes. I 100% no, agree. I'm actually against this idea. I'm so sorry really? to be in the minority here, but I feel as though if I spend so much time putting on an outfit, I want you to actually explain yes or no. I don't want you throwing Same. up a yes yeah. or no sign. Yeah. Does that make it sense? It depends on who exactly is there. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. sign to certain people. But not no. mother people. No. no. Yeah, mother -in -law certain people okay. get signs. Yeah. <laughs> the bridesmaids. Yeah, like Gave the maid of honor. Gets a sign. I'm opening up the discourse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, it's, yeah. Oh, so I, it's also just like, so they're, they're Mercedes, Rachel, and Tina. They're Not there. Quinn, part of the unholy um, trinity. Yeah, no This Quinn. is where it becomes, it starts to be very obvious and like, oh, she's not going to be here. She, <laughs> no. mm -hmm. Quinn not here. Puck here. And it's, it's probably availability. It's probably Diana's yes, like, right. I can't come out this weekend. Or I don't want to. But right. like, yeah, she's like, <laughs> I'm sick. You, you had me come back for that Becky storyline that, <laughs> anybody could have done <laughs> i refuse to come done. back sugar could have done this Sugar's really, like, back. but like what? for in canon for us to be like oh quinn comes back for alanis morissette carol king week but not for like her two best friends wedding Literally. i'm sorry i choose not to believe no and there's people that say like you know actually quinn and they were and i'm like According to the lore of the show, they were friends. Like when Quinn yeah. went punk, Brittany was like, we used to be the Three Musketeers. And now you're like a Jolly Rancher that fell in the ashtray, the ashtray. you know? Mm -hmm. Like they viewed her as friends, even if their relationship could sometimes have a lot of animosity. You yeah. a boob job. But like, yeah, it just, it's so apparent. I do love that Sugar's back and I'm glad you guys got to be here. For sure. For her yeah. triumphant Sugar, <laughs> focus. <laughs> For her mute return. Yeah. <laughs> she was acting the shit out of that of those new oh, lines. Oh, yeah. Oh, like she took that dance floor, newbie. yeah, shaking oh her head, God. and I was like, you know what? You deserve that. You deserve well, that. They did you dirty. One thing Vanessa Lenges is gonna do is find that spotlight and just just yeah. do uh, the exact. I saw right her thing. name come up, and I was like, oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it's we've been asking about her for. For episodes, episodes. No, we're like, wait, yeah. where'd sugar go? Like, I mean, yeah, where's Joe? But like, more where's sugar? Where's sugar? sugar? Yeah. Wait, do you know about the the sugar is Britannia's love child from the future lore? Yeah, do you, are, I do, do know are, that. Okay. Yeah, and um... I feel like this is them sort of acknowledging that by having sugar be at the wedding. That's my 
thoughts yeah, anyway. Yeah, I've heard that. I I think I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> It goes in the same category as the puck Jake incest fic I accidentally read. Oh, God. <laughs> you, you accidentally, accidentally read. read? It was not labeled It wasn't incest. properly tagged. It was yeah. not labeled incest. <laughs> I was very young and naive. I did not know uh, how <laughs> anal worked when I was reading it. And that fanfic is how I learned. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, and I was like, you... he's putting what? Where? <laughs> Wait, were you like explicitly looking, is like seeking out Puck Jake fan no, fiction just I in general? I was just looking at like Glee fanfic. Oh, okay. No. That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Just another PSA tag your fanfics correctly. Tag people. your fanfics. Yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. Okay. So, yeah, there's just certain fan theories that I'm like, why are you got to do? Like, what's the point of this? You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I think it's fun. I, I, in in defense of sugar being Britannia's love child, I think it's fun. And that is my statement on it. And it would make sense that they're drawing attention to that because they talk about fucking OTPs. They talk about Faberry. Yeah. yeah. Like they're looking directly at the audience and being yeah. like, you wanted this. You wanted I, I know. On your I didn't yeah. like that. I didn't <laughs> like that. And yeah. I'm not someone who's an OTP or shipper. Like I don't, I'm not into that, but I was like, I feel them looking at me and I'm not even in this group. I don't like it. <laughs> yep. Right. I, became a Faberry shipper I think was it I said that when we did episode 100 or whatever she Quinn is starting to end up with Puck and I was like you know what? at this point I think the only character that Rachel should end up with is Quinn and the only character Quinn should end up with is Rachel not that I ever particularly yeah. wanted them together but like right. none of these options like there is no chemistry in Sam Chol. oh my oh, god wait 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 don't do that no okay I will clarify I love a thousand miles I love okay. a thousand miles. That song played at my wedding reception. The Glee Cast version by Glee Cast. The Glee Cast version, yes, yes. And we really? were singing along, and I'm like, they don't know what's the Glee Cast version. They, they don't, don't know, know. Those, Glee Cast version. <laughs> those harmonies that they do, like, really nice. Very elevate the song. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna. I I don't think I can decide whether like a version is better because the Vanessa Carlton version is so iconic. But like, right. I do. I think it was it was an interesting cover, which is increasingly rare at this point in Glee's lifespan. Sure. Yeah. They're playing well, and I really like the next scene where they're standing around the piano in the choir room and they're talking about the seating chart and um, uh, Rachel is having some qualms about Sam, about being public with Sam because Bert and Carol are there. And I really liked the point that Mercedes drives home is like Bert <laughs> and Carol also had people in their lives that died, like their significant others, and they moved on, like they would get it they would yeah. understand yeah i like that storyline as a concept okay. i think the execution i wrote like oh i love a moment of your dead boyfriend fiance's parents approving of you dating his football like, teammate yeah 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 especially well, just sam is has always been like and i love sam but he was like he was introduced kind of to like push finn's buttons and yeah. like challenge sure. him and so he's always been almost like kind of similar to finn except without some of the toxic masculinity yeah and i'm not a finn hater but you know like sam never had some of the same issues but so it's just kind of i don't know it just feels like <laughs> sam and rachel feel like we have two pretty white people slap them together sure yeah yeah and also while we're talking about this scene one of the notes that i wrote down was um mercedes what you just said allison about Mercedes being like Bert and Carol both lost people. I just thought it was really odd. I watched this episode twice and it stood out to me both times. Why is Mercedes the Bert Carol historian of the group? <laughs> yeah, Somebody asked know? me. So, right? And it's well, like, why is Mercedes the one to be like, actually, they both lost two people I in their lives? The Furt wedding was really important <laughs> for her. <laughs> I have like a similar thing where like the familiarity between certain characters, I'm like, I don't remember these people ever having history together, so I'm very right. confused. For and those other people are literally Britanna and Bert. And I'm like, why did he just call Britney Brit? I'm very confused. Do they have a history together? But Britney didn't know who Bert was? Yeah. yeah. But also Kurt should have just said my dad. He he definitely yep. like. <laughs> yeah. So that, but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's so strange. We it were, is mm -hmm. very weird to me that Will Schuster, at one point in, in my notes, I write, where the fuck is Will? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why didn't Will officiate the wedding? I know. I can't believe sense. I'm asking that, but I, yeah, I'm not why? Asking, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I'm but not like, asking, but like, why not? The logical choice. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I think we've talked about this before. Like, there are some really weird choices in this season. I think also a couple, like, four and five, where it's like you had the obvious, more logical choice where you had lore and history to build on. <laughs> and you're like, let's pick this random person. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, I think they just I, wanted I, Bert to officiate his own son's wedding. I think they were backwards yeah. from that. I think it's almost like a Jennifer Coolidge thing where it's like, okay, we're we're flexing Jennifer Coolidge. We're yeah. just gonna like we're going to use Mike O'Malley one last time. Mm-hmm. I don't think yeah. that he really does. I think he's like in the 2009 episode a little bit. But yeah. he, this is like the biggest thing that he does all season. Wow. So it's a pretty big thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Officiating his son's <laughs> wedding. Yeah. Yeah, so, gay rights has not been the same since. No, <laughs> yeah, no, I did. I did love when he was like, and God would definitely approve this. And I'm like, you're trying a little too hard, Glee. You're trying a little too hard. <laughs> like, okay, if you're you watching season six, Glee, you're not debating whether or not you're okay with gay people. Season one, right. yes, yeah. but right. like, if you made it to season six, God you know? didn't turn in to tune into season six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, okay. We've been hopping all over the place, but yeah, there's a scene where they're like, Britney's like, everything has to be perfect. They're like, set moving the hay bales. I recently moved hay bales at work. They are heavy. They are Nina heavy. is mm-hmm. right. Yes. And you know, heels. Yeah, she should have been told what to wear. Yep. Mm. Yep. You know? And so she's dragging them around. You know, for people that really have never really given her the time of day. Brittany literally told Tina earlier this season she doesn't listen to anything, she says. Mm-hmm. That was out of pocket, Brittany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so Tina's moving shit around and uh, get, and the twins are fucking moving shit around and mm-hmm. Kurt's like, do this, do that. And uh, Britt is like, the person they tried to get, they tried to get the celebrity to officiate her wedding, and she, they don't. She's like, I don't know you, so she's not doing it. Yeah. And uh, he's like, How about Bert Hummel? And she's like, Who? Yeah. And uh, he, she also in this scene is talking about how she, like she, she's like, I'm not stressed. And Kurt's like, It's okay. Like wedding planning's hard. You know, that's what what happened with me and Blaine. And she's like, Honestly, can't keep track of your relationship, which. Same, but later it's very She's much like, that she I does. have followed it so <laughs> closely very and I have idolized. I idolized you in high school. Like, it's like, yeah. why? This is when? my dream. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she watched um, Tangled and they're like, find a new dream. She's like, I need a new dream. <laughs> <laughs> blurt, blurt she thought they married. were talking directly to her. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, yeah, so they're like, Bert's going to officiate the wedding and yeah, that's basically it. And so then they do the dry, they, they try in the wedding dresses. Santana just walks out to see Britney's wedding dress. Mm-hmm. And she Britney's upset by this. Santana is very superstitious. Yeah. Yes, she is. I didn't understand why Santana would do that. Yes. Especially because she knew that it was so important to Britney. Like, even if right. you don't believe in it. Yeah. You still yeah, if you're about to marry to this person. person. Yeah. 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 Also, like when you're in a couple, I hate being that, but like you learn to pick your battles. <laughs> you're not gonna yes. like and this is an yeah. easy one to pick not to fight. This is an easy right. one, like, <laughs> she really doesn't want me to do this. You just don't. And like yeah. you just saved yourself some stress. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Good luck. Take 10 minutes, eat some Skittles. Like um, I I just remember watching this episode live and just being wildly emotional leading up to the airing of this episode and um because Britannia to me was like the biggest deal to me just in high school and so I remember watching this my freshman year of college and I remember the day of the wedding I set out to watch every single scene that Brittany and Santana shared together the day of and wow. like someone on like Vimeo did like a whole like all of pretend scenes season one season two season three mm. season four season mm. five season six and so I was like very well versed in their relationship going into this episode mm-hmm. and so I just remember being like wildly disappointed after the fact like I was like this is not even like the same character. I don't like the way that Santana's treating Brittany. I think it's weird that she was like sitting on the information because it's, it is cute when she's like, hey, like, like 
they're afraid that like that whole like myth of whatever seeing a yeah. bride in a wedding dress or whatever um i think that's cute but it's like you're holding on to that information and it's like you were kind of being a dick before yeah. um Britney's out of, uh, acting out of character and so like I just remember just being like fully exhausted by the time this episode ends because I was like I just spent so many years and time like investing myself in this relationship and it's like oh it just feels weird and I mean we'll get into everything that they everywhere they went wrong with this wedding but yeah yeah I just I mean, season six in general, there's some good ideas, but it very much feels like no one here is like, no one is excited to be here. No. Yeah. You know? yeah. And that's. Well, I mean, for this wedding yeah. in particular, it almost feels like they wanted specifically to have a bridezilla stereotype. And so they, they gave that to Brittany, but they yeah. had to make it more Brittany's speed or they wanted to. So instead of being full bridezilla, she was superstitious bridezilla. Mm-hmm. And then they yeah. needed you know uh santana to it's almost as a beast they needed conflict yeah it was it just it didn't quite work britney's spazzing out perfect yeah Mm -hmm. put it in the 10 pages (laughs) (laughs) so yeah because then britney brings in the chicken to slaughter I laughed so hard at that, and I don't even know why. And Rachel's like, "Oh my god, you can't slaughter that chicken and there are in here." Children, presumably in this school, and she's yeah. like, "I'm gonna do this in the choir room. Is that okay?" Yeah. <laughs> I love whenever the show's like, "Oh yeah, Rachel's vegan. She cares about animals," and I'm always yeah. like, "I don't believe it. I don't believe that she woman cares does about not animals. care about no. animals. She just doesn't like the taste it, of beef or something." It depends on the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so there. They're they're planning the wedding or whatever. And Santana is like, why is Sue here? And I'm like, you send out invites. Yeah. yeah. Like they it's had your tiny wedding. little chairs with everybody's name on them. And I'm like, that's so unrealistic, but kind Too of much. a good idea for a TV show because otherwise this right. would be really boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. If it yeah. happens in real life, uh, I don't know what to say to that. It's a little, it's too much uh, arts and crafts put into the planning process, not the actual mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I like to think that it was left over from Kurt and Blaine's planning. Oh. And Kurt just oh. lent it. To Kurt's like, here, yeah. I have all this stuff. And then like, yeah, he made here. chairs for the here. seating because arrangement Kurt would planning. Be that extra. Kurt yes. would be that extra. Absolutely. Brittany would not be. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And they had already all the names written down because they were going to invite the same people. Exactly. Yeah. Including Sue right. Sylvester. Sue Sylvester. And not yeah. Quinn. Yeah. Wait, and not <laughs> Quinn. But where was Becky this episode? That's yeah. true. Yeah. But also, why would you invite Becky? She was a Cheerio. I think Brittany liked oh, Becky. Santana Brittany. didn't like Becky. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. There's, yeah, it's always the thing you have to remember that this is a TV show. So everyone they know oh, like, is. in their yeah. life <laughs> is in a TV yeah, show. <laughs> so like, but you're like, I don't know if I'd have like everyone from my high school choir class, you know. I this would. is their life, Colin. <laughs> this is their right. life. This, I mean, everyone does everything important in their lives in this choir room or in this school, <laughs> well, even like, if they've graduated <laughs> two or three years ago. There's all those women dancing in this number, and I'm thinking, like, they don't have other friends. Who are these people? Right. <laughs> even, like, like Neck Brace Cheerio is seen there. at the I wedding. saw that. Oh I thought it was a woman in a weird scarf. I was like, oh, okay, no, no, I know who that no, is. No, no, no. Girl <laughs> is still in a neck brace. Not, you know what? She is nothing but consistent, and I love <laughs> yeah, that for her. True. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. see a character that's consistent on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neck brace cheerleader. Yeah, so they're Santana's mad, and she like barges into Sue's office and is like, "You're not invited. I hate you. You're super selfish. You perverted marriage by marrying yourself. You walk down the aisle at Will and Emma's wedding in an exact co- exact copy of Emma's dress. Like you're horrible." And I I I love the scenes when Santana calls Sue horrible, yes. um, because she is. And yeah, so Santana is like, I don't want you there. Like, you'll ruin it. You'll make it about you, which is mm-hmm. so valid, which is like, if you knew Sue, if you knew someone that ran a school that caned children, you wouldn't <laughs> want them at your wedding. And put sure. overweight children in pig pens and pig noses. Um, but the other thing is that like in the seating arrangement scene, they say, well, if you invite Sue, there's only like an 85% chance she'll ruin the wedding. But if you don't invite her, there's a 99% chance. Yeah. And I'm like, I mean, sure, that's true. But also like, 
I don't know. I get it. Don't invite her. Yeah. 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 I feel like they have this exact uh, conversation in a deleted scene in the beginning of Sleeping Beauty when they're planning that. They're like, well, if you invite Maleficent. Maleficent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or 99% Maleficent chance. is Snow White, but no, the evil witch. Yeah. That is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're like, she'll come in and ruin the wed- the christening. That's... <laughs> They That's found good. those scenes in the, the yeah, archive they're, and they, they're they like, tacked it to the front of the pages. There's a 99% pages. chance that she will ruin it if you don't invite Maleficent. And they're yeah. like, all right, I guess we got to roll the dice. <laughs> guess we gotta- well, 85% not on her side. <laughs> yeah. Right. Half the, the point of not inviting someone to a party is the principle of the thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah, but there's things you, there are people like when you're like, oh, well, if I invite this person, I should invite this person. But yeah. there's like, but your cheerleading coach isn't usually. I wanted to shoot you out of a cannon. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I actually, I right. wrote that, that because like Brittany says something like uh, sentimental about Sue. I was like, Brittany, she tried to stuff you in a cannon. She like, wanted to you kill you. Yeah. 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 So they, we'll get to Sue later, but Santana's like, I'm hiring guards. <laughs> With and again, they do a they do a great job when the actual wedding happens. <laughs> I was thinking that where the hell are the guards? Where the fuck were they? Was there was um, no. I think there was like I mean we'll talk about it, but like there was literally a guy who had like a goatee who like looks Sue directly in the face and then she sits down and then he just like looks away from her and I'm like oh you're not doing your job. Them. I thought he was. 100%. Um, uh, I think the guy's name is Chris from In Sync, one of the like background singers in In Sync. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, I was like I was like. I thought that was well, actually this wedding is like, star studded, oh. so that makes sense. Yeah. That adds up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And so, meanwhile, Tina has assembled oh, her God. favorite Glee guys. Right. Co- Ooh, when did huh? Huck and Tina ever talk to each other? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's, a great That's her favorite Glee guy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Blaine, I get. Artie, I get. Sam, I get. Huh? huh? Yeah. Okay. Why wasn't Sam in this scene? Wasn't was it Sam Jimmy? in it? No. No. Oh, was it? Was it was, was just it? the three of them. They they just Puggin instead of Sam. Exactly. Cord yeah. busy. What? Yep. He Cord was. Well, take a poop. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> they subbed in Mark Salling. I fully believe that it's because like Sam sort of has like a pseudo plot in this episode, and they're like. Okay, Sam's already busy. So Does he let's say give... a single line? No, he says like something in passing to Tina when they're setting up the wedding. And I think that's it. Oh, he's like, that's his dad. Yeah. That's his dad, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I think, lived with them. We think. Right. Yeah. I mean, or Where the he's school. living now? We don't the know. The school still. The barn? Probably. The school, the barn. He lives in <laughs> Indiana. He commutes to work. Don't get me started on geography of the Midwest and how these Stop people it. commute around. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I we love spent, it. We spent so much time on this podcast being like, wait. Recycled material who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Indiana makes me think of uh, my brother was in a Christian soccer league that purposely would do the tournaments on Halloween so like kids couldn't celebrate Halloween I remember sp- spending oh, Halloween God. at that fucking soccer game and being what? pissed what the really? fuck yeah and my mom was like yeah it sucks like she did not she was like Wait. these people suck <laughs> yeah oh my god weird yeah so uh yeah so that's Sam's one line so Puck gets to be there but like they've never interacted she like made out with Sam yeah. yeah, if you wanted the, her, Sam and Blaine were a trio. We're like, yeah, yeah, right. They were a thruple. Mm-hmm. They they sang Tina and Sam along with Joe sang "Everybody Loves Counting." Everybody yep. loves Everybody counting. Everybody loves, loves counting. counting. <laughs> I will say that Puck does have a, a good line in this scene. At the very end, he does say "Cha Chang," um, <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was just like hilarious for like no reason. <laughs> I just didn't catch that. Oh my god, Cha Chang. Yeah. Cha-chang. <laughs> so Artie is like, well, like you're not even dating, you know, right. like, cause she's like, right. I'm going to ask Mike to marry me because uh, as I wrote in my notes, this episode is intent or this show is intent on detonating Tina. Like yeah. everything yeah. in her life, everything, it has to be a disaster. She's yeah. a Brown. She's thriving. 
And they're like, no, she wants to marry Mike, this guy that she, I guess, started talking to again. We've been texting, texting high high school. School. right now. Yeah, texting right now. That's a text yeah. from him. <laughs> no, that definitely was not a text from him. That was like her mom. Like, like, yeah. oh, you're in town. We want to go get lunch. That's what that right. text was. Yeah. yeah. Shut um, up, mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, I also was like so annoyed. It's like, why does she need these men to agree to this? Why didn't she go to the girls? That may, yeah. would make so much more sense. Why does she need anyone's approval? No, I think it's because the girls are busy. I'm trying to think yes. of this. Yo, you're of right. Episode. It's That's... like the girls are doing something already. Yes. And These it's characters like, are not. It's yeah. like, oh, this. Oh. Well, they're trying to plant some seeds with Artie and Tina. You know, right. So they need Artie yeah. to the be like. The littlest, idiest, bittiest baby of seed. <laughs> yeah, Artie to be seed. like. seed. No. Toxic like, seed. Yeah. Because they're Artie and Tina. I'm like, I love Kevin and Jenna. But Artie and Tina. The characters. Uh, no. I'm sorry. The one note I have about this scene, Tina, not in her acting bag this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's you a know? little unbelievable. Every <laughs> single thing Wait she a says. Minute. What is Tina going to school for? Is it theater? Maybe. It, it's not showing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I mean, don't know. I think a lot of the performances this season so tired have been tired. Like, yeah, I think I at this point, it was writing. Why it... am I? It's both. No, Why? it's both. <laughs> it's no. it's I'm being like, oh god, it's the okay. music. The music is tired too. I wasn't yeah. thrilled by most of the music in this episode, no. especially like the montage one. I was like, like no. honestly, when we get to music later, I'm gonna like. I'm going to have to yeah, really no think idea. about what those songs were. Because, and that's a shame because this is like a wedding. This is the time yeah. to bust out that triumphant. They didn't have the first song until 22 minutes in. Yeah, halfway yeah. through the episode. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I'm normally no. like on those things. I forgot that Glee was a musical comedy for a minute. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, just <laughs> anything like love is like the literally the most basic premise. Like, I would say at least 50% of music, if not more, is about love. Yeah, mm-hmm. so yeah. many songs. And you could have done, like, I don't know, like, a, I mean, just like, I don't know, love story, Taylor Swift. We've talked about yeah. like, barely do any Taylor Swift. You know, that that has current energy, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> Like Maybe just say yes, yeah, yeah. Like we were both young when I first saw you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and not and, Walter. In not, the oh not. yeah, fucking Walter. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about the blurt. Um, but first, let's should we just like go through and wrap up Tina? Yeah, let's wrap up Tina. Sure. Yeah, because uh, they're just tormenting poor Jenna, and you know, yeah, she's not she's not trying that hard. I don't blame her. That like remember when. They broke into Blaine's apartment. He was like, oh, they broke into my apartment. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Yeah. He was having, because there, he really did all the, he really tried to sell his breakup with Karofsky. I will give Darren that. But I mean, Chris is not, Chris is not trying this season. No. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So you can feel can it you in the next scene. Imagine someone giving you this scene as a woman. You're like, wait. I'm What's asking men if I can marry a man. You're bringing me back to do mm-hmm. this. Yes, yeah. exactly. And I have to, to get rejected. Me asking a bunch of other guys if it's okay for me to ask a guy that I don't actually interact with I if I can marry him. Yeah, yeah. really. <laughs> That's my I'm... one storyline. And then that I'm... man has to like be to, like talk her down from the ledge and be like, "Listen." Um, I get, you know, it's totally normal that like your friend, two, four of your friends, your best friends in the world are getting married on the same day. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's so normal to feel this way. And I'm like, don't well, patronize like a this year woman. after high school. Yeah. And one of your weddings already fell through. Right. Two, two years for him. <laughs> yeah. Because he graduated yeah. the year before her. So it's like. Yeah. He's gone. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a self-identified Tina fan. I, I was like the first three seasons while watching. And then once she started getting more airtime and seeing character assassination, I was like hopping off this shit. Yeah, but um, it, it is really like terrible that she comes back for like this episode. And it's like, this is the final Tina plot. And it's like the habit, you know? And it's like, yeah. okay, like 
that it's such an insult to the character that it's so reliant on like wanting love from someone else that doesn't give a bag. And it's like, I don't do something better with this character. At least like ask to move in with her. Like, yeah. I don't know, date Mike first. I hate yeah. that this show is like, every mm-hmm. time they do this thing, the season five premiere where it's like, Kurt and Blaine are not even together at the beginning of season five premiere, but are engaged by the end of it. And it's like, oh my God, you're going to zero from to 100 too yeah. quickly. And I don't like it. Yeah, I yeah. don't know why marriage is like the end all be all for everything on the show. Yes, um, I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, it, this is a modern set show. Just throwing it yeah. out there. This isn't a Disney princess movie, you know, where it's like... <laughs> gotta crank out heirs to cement this royal alliance like they're (laughs) they're just normal people you know so it's yeah it's yeah it's just insulting because tina is she's a loser at the beginning and she kind of ends as a loser and there's no like well actually it's the friends you make along the way or like like tina gets essentially no arc over the course of the show Mm -mm. You know, like there's nothing happens or changes to her, like in her or her life, really, because Tina was going to go to Brown whether or not she got she had the Glee Club. Right. You know, That's true. so it's just like it's just so insulting, especially because she was an OG. Yeah. Uh, and I like Tina in defiance of all the character assassination. I'm like, I know you yeah. want me to hate her, but you know, yeah. what? So I, like never than Rachel. I never will. I never will. Not falling yeah. for that trap. You know, what, yeah. you know what Tina never did? Send someone to a crack house. Oh, yeah, so she true. didn't actually do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, she did vapo, oh, vapo rub been... oh, Blaine. Rachel. But... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she did vapo rape Blaine, but <laughs> we can ignore that. Pretty well. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Rough. Bad moment. Yeah. But Blaine later reenacted it with puppets, so we don't know how Blaine felt about it's it. It's a troubling yeah. situation <laughs> over there. Yeah. So, but Blaine is like, it's romantic, go for it. So she does ask Mike to marry her, and he's like... It's like at the... At the wedding during the reception, they go into the Amish person's house, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, that's, she's like, what kind of crazy person? Ask someone to marry them, they're not even dating. And he's like, you. You. And it's like, <laughs> fuck you. Fuck okay. You. But I yeah. mean, again, I think this scene relied so much more on like the chemistry between like that these actors are friends, you right. know, and respect each other. And like, I think. It could have been, it was condescending. It could have been worse. I think Harry is yeah. kind of like keeping it like very like cordial and like, hey, like you're sexy and beautiful and all this. But like, to be fair, like who would react any differently to that circumstance? Yeah. Right. Like <laughs> you're just trying to like get through it without like totally detonating. Like, yeah. Your he relationship. kisses her, right? They do kiss. Because he like, he's like, you know, there's going to be. You know, pl- there's plenty of fish in the sea, essentially. And then they like start kissing. I was like, and then like they walk out and they're like, oh, let's go dance. And I'm like, I'm confused. What, had, what a, just happened? That's a right. TV yeah. thing. T- characters on TV, do they like do breakup kisses? They like right. kiss to be like, I don't love you, kiss. But you it's know? also the line before that and then the kiss. And then I'm like, what does this mean? Yeah, it's. Yeah. It was very confusing because he's like, no, I can't love you that's ins- or no I can't marry you that's insane and then he says I love you and then I was like okay what? what's your reasoning here where the reasoning right. should be we haven't been dating I yeah. still really like you let's maybe start dating yeah um, long distance <laughs> right yeah. from yeah. brown is what New England <laughs> and then he's in Chicago Chicago yeah. that entire scene I was like I was like hoping and I understood that this was not going to happen because I've watched this episode before but I was hoping that Mike would be like actually I'm dating Quinn right now and I just want Mike and Quinn to be in a relationship because I think that would be the hottest couple to come out of the goddamn Glee Club I mean oof. Okay. Bang. Yeah, it's steamy. hello Come I need on. it the bang okay. yeah <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think it's hot. It would be I, hot. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah do that. I, I, it. I have seen on a Glee Confessions page that they someone was like, Mike and Tina would have made more sense for a high school relationship that ended up working out than Clayne. Clayne, their yeah. dynamic would actually tell a really interesting story of like people that loved each other in high school but aren't right for each other as adults. Right. Yeah. I mm-hmm. disagree. I disagree. You disagree. Yeah. But so that's a, 
that's a take but so yeah that's really tina gets insulted for the last time and then uh she and Artie, she has a great time she has a great time <laughs> at the party already recreates a lunch date you know like they used to have lunch together like in oh, that was, one episode yeah you know, they're like we have lunch every week <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Again, so much of Artie and Tina is just predicated on the fact that Kevin and Jenna are friends, but like Artie yeah. and Tina yeah. don't really act like friends most of the time. And of course, this scene takes place in a choir room in a school they graduated from. Yeah. One and two years ago, depending on the character. No, I also, love that. Jenna, babe, babe, where's where's the Oscar for this scene? <laughs> uh, you know what? That's this, a great point. What? Where's the Emmy? Wait, and then also when she's being fed the red grape, she does get a bit of the um the stem. I don't know if you noticed that, but she <laughs> takes a bit of the stem with it, and I'm like, oh, oh god, oh, like, crunchy, crunchy grape. Yeah. Mm, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, and I'm like, I I also hate that they're like, well, by we when we're thirty, when we're old and decrepit, when we're thirty. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking like, 30 in the face. Yeah. <laughs> yep, same. Those, and it's like, were those actors 30? <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. 70 years old. When our lives yeah. are over when we're 30 like, years old. Which is, I think that's the age in that Julia Roberts movie. Oh, is yeah. that Pray Love? Uh, my Best no. Friend's Wedding. Oh, my Best Friend's Wedding. Pray oh. Love. Oh. Pray Love? Yeah. Going on 30? <laughs> no, but, 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 yeah. But my Best Friend's Wedding is like a very old movie at this yeah, point so the fact that the age hasn't it's like, also yeah, kind of a psychotic yeah. movie yeah. uh i haven't yeah. watched it in a really long time i watched uh someone did like a, a review of it and i was like my god i haven't seen it so long like i used to like that movie and i'm like Ooh. i only really know they that you can't a, be jello yeah they do a tribute they also do a tribute to burt Backrack in that movie Oh yeah! Hey, what is this movie we're talking about? <laughs> My, My best, best friend's, friend's wedding. wedding. It's Julia Did Roberts, Cameron uh, Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Um, no, is it Hugh Grant? No. Um, is Rupert it not Everett. Hugh Grant? That's not in no. Hill. Hugh Grant and oh, Julia Roberts. Okay. My mom likes that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and basically, like, so she and the guy who's like her best friend, he's getting married to Cameron Diaz, but they had a pact when they were younger that, like, once they, I, I think you're right, I think it may have been thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Uh, that like they would get together. You know, they would get married if they didn't. You know, but he, yeah. so she basically gets invited to the wedding. But they need another like bridesmaid or maybe a maid of honor. I can't remember which. I think it's, it's like, maid of honor, yeah. Supposed to like join the wedding to like sub in, and so mm. she's getting to know this girl that he's getting married to, and she's kind of sabotage trying to sabotage. Yeah, she's trying to sabotage the, yeah, sabotage the wedding. Yeah. Wait, Julia Roberts is trying to sabotage Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's Ooh, kind of like bad. She's jealous that they're getting married. Yeah, because she's because she's, she's in love with him. God. She realizes she's in love <laughs> right. with him. Yeah. And so. Oh, yeah, it's not just for fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. the pot. Yeah, she's like, I'm bored Her as a villain food era. critic. <laughs> which I forgot she was a food critic in that movie, which is something I like learned from the reveal. Um, eat, pray, yeah. love. Yeah, eat, pray, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Another Ryan Murphy joint. No. Yes, it, Ryan no! Murphy. No. Yes, he did that Ryan movie. Murphy, it directed Eat, Pray, Love. Oh, really? well, I didn't like the book. I I like the first Wild. two chapters, like the sections, and then like the Italy section. I was like, I don't care that you fell in love. I'm sorry. Mm. I'd rather listen. I'd rather read about you doing yoga. <laughs> I liked you eating and praying. Not so much loving. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Draw the line at loving. <laughs> <laughs> and it's I'm someone who loves love. Love. <laughs> <laughs> eat and pray. Get a new third word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So. I can't remember how we got them. Yeah, but they oh they make a wedding pack, you know, when they're 30. And I'm like, okay, this is 2015. Like that's not so they're what 20, 21. So it's like nine, 10 years. Yeah. Now. It's yeah. like that's a long time, but also maybe to give yourselves people? another 10 sure. years. Yeah. Maybe another people. 10. Also, like you don't fail if you don't get married. True. That's a great point. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So I think you actually do. <laughs> I think everybody that's still single at 30 should reconsider some things. Yeah. I did a best friend from high school and say, you know what? We should have made a pact in high school, but let's just get married right now. Just we're all now. decrepit. <laughs> You know, that, yeah, you guys are already fucking losers. You guys are meeting in your goddamn choir room that you graduated yeah. years ago from. <laughs> Just go get married god. now. Like, <laughs> like sparkling cider. Oh yeah. god. At least pop a bottle. 
and they're, they're and in a school. <laughs> yeah, it makes, me so, it makes me so mad. The the real estate in with William McKinley High School, <laughs> like the fact that the choir room does take up like two full classrooms. Yes. That is a giant ass fucking set classroom. Sorry, set. Yeah. Um, but like it like. For Tina and Artie to be just utilizing that space, like just I don't, it just makes me mad. It just makes me mad. I just yeah. I'm like thinking about the other kids in that in that school that are actually attending classes, seeing yeah. this happening, and I'm like I would be mad. No, yeah. there's Get there's the like a here. there's like a, a you know a barbershop quartet at the school, right? They go to run the <laughs> sign up sheet like, oh, we want to go use the choir room, and it's like Artie and Tina. It's like Artie and these Tina fuckers graduated <laughs> two years ago, and they're on the sign up sheet, and I can't sign up. No, what's my barbershop quartet gonna no. do? Where are they gonna rehearse? Literally <gasps> outside literally... the acoustics. No, thank you. <laughs> my origin story was people a barbershop like, quartet. You know, people who graduated and, and like were monopolizing all like the <laughs> theater. Yeah. in my community and like I was like I hate that and someone's will write and direct your own play and I was like okay I will and that's why I now live did. in LA as a pursuing writing wow. and that's for iconic. a second I thought you were talking about your older siblings not leaving the school <laughs> not leaving the <laughs> parents basement yeah, yeah well I mean it's really cringe that Colin also goes, goes back to his old school he records there sometimes <laughs> his old school is his basement but I also do want to, while we're talking about Tina, I feel like we might as well like lump Artie plot into this as well, because I feel as he though- He has a plot? Artie plot. Um, well, Artie, the entire plot of season six that he's provided, and I think that he oh, makes yeah. like reference to this, like two episodes before this, that he's like, I'm not really doing much, so I guess I'll plan your wedding. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. what a slap in the face of that character too, that we've been watching for six years. He it's literally like, went oh, to film produce. school. Why can't he be there? He's directing- a lesbian wedding and i guess that that is as much credits as you know being a PA. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah God. so yeah tina, they're bringing tardy back they call they she's said like, but tardy. it's artina it's artina and we're putting they, the other one they're first. like self-aggrandizing like oh look at us putting each other first and it's like, like no one in glee does that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one actually <laughs> refers to themselves as shit names in real no. life Stop no it. i mean i do <laughs> not I was gonna say colin does <laughs> not not to myself wait what's your guys' ship name i actually i don't think i have one for myself i mean what? it would be probably cafe l would it have to be oh, us I love yeah Raphael. wait but, that's is your is your husband's name Raphael? yeah <laughs> um wait i feel like that's so much of the Raphael name not yours i know but then cafe l mm. Colfail. Mm. Cole, Cole. Rollin. When I was with Rollin. Well, Rollin. When I was I don't like that either. But when I was yeah. with Margar my ex Margarita was Colorite, I think is what people oh, call it. Yeah. Okay. But no, it's uh I'm not gonna say what mine is with Lyle. You could probably figure it out. Hannah Lyle. Don't say it. I don't Lina Heil. Oh wait, what's bad about that? Heil. Think oh, about it. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. I got that. Yeah, this, is I a, was... this is a blind spot for me. I was thinking, <laughs> think of I how know it who sounds... directed Eat Pray Love. I don't know what that means. <laughs> think I'm of how it sounds, it to you. not how it's spelled. Yes, yeah. exactly. Because yeah. think of how it's spelled. Because it'd be H Y L E. Thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking of the lake in The Legend of Zelda lore. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I, I'm seeing it now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's like uh, I said that one time out loud because. I think we were actually, Lyle and I were talking about Glee and we're talking about ship names and how like silly it was. And I was like, oh, what would ours be? And I said out loud and we both just were like, ah, no. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But I I like coming up with ship names for other people. Yeah. Yeah. I treat mm-hmm. everyone in their backs. (laughs) (laughs) I treat everyone as a storyline. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Welcome to season 28 of of the Cullen Show. (laughs) (laughs) Love it. Yeah. Wait, uh, Colin, can I can I tell you something yeah. really quickly? I was looking up Glee podcasts on Twitter not too long ago, and maybe he'll take offense to this, but I found a tweet that said every Glee podcast has one straight girl and one gay annoying guy. <laughs> <laughs> I sent that to you, or did I know? I commented when you posted it. Did you share it to your story? Oh, yes. And I commented, oh and I was like, I feel attacked. It, it, I felt so seen, attacked, all of the above. Uh, <laughs> I'm into one. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I was allegedly straight when this podcast started. Uh, <laughs> Glee yeah, turned are. you gay. Glee turned me gay, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell right wing. <laughs> Don't tell, uh, what's his face? Uh... Oh, the guy who's always uh, mad, Ben Shapiro. Ben, ben Shapiro. Shapiro. I was like, whose which sister one? Was in whose Glee. sister was in a Glee club? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. She oh, was... I thought you meant in the show Glee. No, no she was she in was. the show Glee. Wait, no. no, Abby Shapiro was not in the show Abby Glee. Shapiro. She was one of the mad No. The... I think she was she a golden goblin. Myron. A golden goblin. Stop <laughs> no, it. Allison, Myron. this is not a joke. <laughs> ben Shapiro's actual <laughs> sister was in Glee, season three, episode <laughs> On My Way. Golden Goblet Singler. Yeah, yeah I think that she even has a line. Okay, like I feel like this is just showing how much I, my life is just devoted to this. But season three, episode on my way, when Finn gets up during Stand while Sebastian is singing Stand, um, Abby Shapiro says to Finn, like, why are you clapping for him? Like, that's your enemy. And then Finn's like, you should try it sometime. You know what? I Abby literally... Shapiro would say that. That wasn't scripted. <laughs> <laughs> they, and they left it in because they were like, oh, who's this rising star? Yeah. Wow, I legitimately have to fucking go watch this episode. I'm going to obviously is- fast forward through it. But like, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. My, I mean, my favorite hurts. Abby Shapiro content is there was a clip of her being like her red flies and Classically guys. Abby. And she was like, I can't date someone who always has to be right. And someone was like, this is three times funnier. Knowing who her brother is. <laughs> that is good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. You know, former guest of the pod was used to formerly be Ben Shapiro's neighbor. I thought you were going to say Ben Shapiro, guest <laughs> of the pod. I was, <laughs> I was like, I don't think I was in that episode. In his, in his Glee era. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So that's Tina. That's Tardy. Um, Okay, so there's they're they're planning the wedding. They, I think we're at the we're at the lima bean. We're at the lima bean. Oh, because Kurt is with Walter, mm-hmm. and he's basically Which is like a Paramount set, and we were in it, and it was shot. so fucking insane to be in there and to be like. <gasps> So it's yeah, very like very subtle. Like the tour guide was like, "Oh, well, we're just gonna stop here as our last stop. It's a gift shop and coffee shop. If you want to get anything." And like everybody else walks in and it's like, "Okay," but like me and Allison are like, "Oh, oh, oh. you know, this is the line I'm in." You know what coffee order? Okay, yay. Okay. Go. go, I gotta go. I'm so I've been in there. Wait, what? I worked there. I worked on the Paramount lot. Where? Where was it? It's it was like, right across from the dining area, the dining mm. cafe, the, it was the cafe, the, it was like a coffee bean cafe. That's yeah. lima bean. And then across the street is the dining center. And that was breadsticks. Yeah. Uh, yep. Interesting. Um, <laughs> we didn't go in there. I had no idea. <laughs> oh my God. How fun. Wow. Also. wow. I didn't even know. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, did you work there before we did this podcast? Yes. yes. Okay. I had so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. The yeah, that makes barista sense. that made my iced coffee did know what clean was, so I was I was happy about that. Well, that's you know? good. Yeah. Playing a part. Playing okay. a part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone on on that set on that studio lot is an actor. You know. Yeah. Play yeah. card intact. Yeah. Play card. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my my coworker again went to the high school while they were filming Glee. And she did mm-hmm. say that Glee stole items from their choir room when they built the set based on their choir room and just stole certain That's items from so the set. That's so funny. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've talked to multiple people because I also sort of dated someone who went to the high school where they filmed Glee. Helen Bernstein High School. I think. I always just say, oh, that they're like, yeah, that high school in Burbank. Yeah. Yeah, the Glee, the Glee High School. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't really know the names of the high schools here. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad that you don't. I don't. I know the one my my sibling works at one. And I know the that's city it. that's in. Yeah. 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 So he basically tells Walter, like, I'm going to the wedding with Blaine. Like, we're breaking up. Not because you catfished me. Just because uh, you were I filler. suddenly realized... Because he hadn't made the decision before this, right? No, like, he hadn't asked Blaine to go to the wedding with him. Right, okay. So I thought, I thought I'd thought i missed something before this scene. That's why I was like, wait. And also, like, for Kurt to be like, I'm going to the wedding with Blaine. I haven't asked him yet. 
but it's going to happen. And I was like, oh my God. Bitch ass. Putting the car before the hearse again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Walter's just like, young love. I wish I had it. I should have gone for it. Yeah. I'm 30, if you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> my life is over. I never made a pact. But the everyone, whole time, I feel like Walter is supposed to be a nice guy. Like that's how he's written. But I yeah. cannot get over the fact that he catfished yeah. Kurt. And I'm like, this person is suspicious. He yeah. looks kind of like Dr. Oz. A oh, little bit. A little yeah, bit. A little. Okay. But uh, like with take... Phil Dunphy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh yeah. I wouldn't be mad. May I'll say that I wouldn't be mad if Walter catfished me. He's a he's a handsome guy, Harry. Yeah, he's handsome, but I, he's old. He's if I went <laughs> went 30. in seeing that picture <laughs> and he was like, "We'll do one date or whatever," I'd be like, "You know what? Okay, he's a, he's a silver fox." But mm. if you lie about it, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. like just be yeah. open, just be honest. Silver foxes have a time limit. Mm, 30 to 35. That's an expiration date. 30 to 35. Wow, I'm dating a silver fox and he has dark brown hair. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's a... This is also similar to Karofsky where he takes it so graciously like the most gracious yeah Yeah. of course of course you're supposed like you guys are end game like it's like this this old man who like he just met them a couple weeks ago is you guys are end game no it's the only one who can say end game is veronica lodge not even marvel can should be saying end game so true not even taylor swift (laughs) oh yeah and taylor yeah so it's just it's no and yeah this again he takes it Walter, it makes a little more sense to take graciously. Yes, that, because that like, they've been yeah. on a, they've 36. been in a few dates. Uh, <laughs> Karofsky and Blaine had a lease. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Right. And where is Karofsky living? Because we have a little. This is where they go. Also, okay, so the rainbow wall, right? And yeah. Blaine's shirt is rainbow. I was like, oh, he matches his, his apartment. That's cute. He loves. They it. also hate it. Yeah, so, it's a little too on the nose. I. Yeah. You know what? I will say this. As a, as, a, as a queer person, I will say that Glee season six, just a little bit gay propaganda, a little bit too close to the sun. With the last episode, <laughs> with the last episode being like, okay, Beast is, is trans. I understand people, people support it. I am not in that, in that um, minority or whatever. Um, but like then to have like a two gay weddings in the, the immediately following episode, I'm like, stop it. I know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, you're having this propaganda. I understand yeah. the propaganda. It's pandering. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's how I felt when they said the God thing. I was like, okay. Chill. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's over idealized. So, but even like, and then they they do the um the Kurt run down the neighborhood. Oh, this kills me. Yes. This kills so, me. Oh, that ghost. must have sucked to do, honestly. And then those shoes and those, and those shoes? pants. Mm. Uh, and the pants? Yeah. And, and Michael Ooh. Bay directing those <laughs> scenes. I was like, wait, what's that happening? Beautiful. For a second, I thought we were getting a flashback to like Walter's no. childhood. Yeah, you're right. Michael Bay did it. <laughs> there was supposed to be uh, explosions and stuff, but they just didn't have the budget. And Michael Bay was really disappointed. It's like, fine, just let me have the lens flares. I, ask, yes. I beg of you. That's all yeah. The up was not flattering. Mm, yeah. No. And but they, I will say that Blaine and Blaine Karofsky live in a really beautiful neighborhood. But yes. this is like top, top three Klein kisses for me they in this do, scene. This felt like there were a lot of people have complained that in the past, especially with in the more popular seasons of Glee, all the queer displays of affection were very dialed back compared to the straight ones. Mm-hmm. And this is, hey, we're season six. No one's watching. Let's shove our tongues in each other's mouths. Yeah. Yeah. We, we're like hot. really, we're really blessed with a few Britannicuses in this episode. We are. Yes. These would have not like seen very, the light of day in Very intimate kisses. Yeah. Like that's, that's kind of the thing. It's like, it's not just like a kiss for a kiss. It's like, it's very intimate. Yeah. Um, yeah. It would have it would have meant more in a, a season two episode, but you know what? Nonetheless, I'll take it. I'll take exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it's he... gonna go in the compilation anyway. And that's what we're really watching. <laughs> so, yeah. so he busts in and is like, 
I love you. Or is there someone else? And Blaine's like, no. And they kiss and they're going to go to the wedding together. And uh, they're there and they uh, run into Bert and Carol. And they, you know, were talking about, yeah, this could have been us. Like, it just wasn't meant to be. You know, things don't work out. And, you know, the way Bert and Carol talk is I wrote, like, Bert and Carol are the only characters in the show who, like, remember their own lives. Yeah. Like, they, whenever yeah. Bert and Carol come back, like, their performance and their writing is always grounded in what has happened to them mm. over the show. Whereas, like, any of the lead characters, it's like a fresh slate. Yeah. You know, they're back to their archetype. You know, yeah. but, like... Bert and Carol are just hot. Like, I feel like they've had their own show going on. Yeah. The side that's like this, like grounded HBO show <laughs> about like and, grief. But, like, how terrible is it that we're watching a show that every time that they acknowledge prior events, it's like, oh God, there's a relief, <laughs> you know? Like, at least they're like acknowledging things that have happened on this show that like mm-hmm. we also bore witness to. I, I like Bert like acknowledging the fact that he had cancer and like the, right. and like all these things. I'm like, I oh my god, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. I still it's can't something. get over when uh, Kurt monopolized the glee club at a school he no longer attended to sing "You Are the Sunshine of My Life" to about his dad. I won't yeah. forget that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, they're they're all feeling the wedding romance. Uh, and- Blaine's mom, Gina Garshon, is, is there. The Let's first time that Carol, okay, so claim was a thing from off and on for many, many years, years. to me. Uh, and they are just now meeting. It's insane. They were engaged. Can I? What? Can I? Can I offer in a very easy fix to this scene? Sure. Absolutely. Because Pam Anderson, Pam Anderson, canonically her name. Um, she comes up to the table where Gloria Estefan and R- Romy Rosemont are, are standing and she says, are you Carol? And she's, they meet for the first time, which obviously to your point, doesn't make any sense. No. Why couldn't she just go up to Santana's mom and be like, oh, you must are be. Are you Gloria Estefan? Yeah. <laughs> I love Miami sound machine. Yeah, exactly. Just be like, that's such an, like. <laughs> Oh, why are they treating the audience like goddamn like imb- like idiots? I hate well, it. She could have even been like, "Oh my gosh, Carol," and Carol could have nice been to like, see "You again?" Oh, right. Gloria Estefan, this is Blaine's this mom. Is Pam, something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This, this Gina, first time meeting Gina Garcon, where... who played Jughead's mom. <laughs> this is uh, the scene where Gloria Estefan looks directly into the camera. <laughs> And I love does her she story. really? Oh, she does. I famous that. actress, Gloria Estefan. <laughs> yeah, looks <laughs> directly into the camera. Incredible. And they're uh, taking pictures. That's what you use the effects for. Yeah. I fixed people spiking cameras before. <laughs> okay, but here's another thing is that like, okay, Gina Gershon is currently six years old. Matt Bomer, who is presumably also her son mm-hmm. from Big Brother. Remember that episode, guys? Uh, yeah. He's 45 years old now. She had a baby so- when she was 15. I just see her on the dance floor with Puck. I believe it. (laughs) Well, uh, and that's another thing is like I thought I thought Pin was a thing or Quack. What do we call them? It's Uh, Quick. Quick. Quack. (laughs) Quack. (laughs) Quack. Here I am complaining that Glee doesn't take. They don't take the logical thing, and here I'm like Quack. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I just uh, that's so wild to me. I literally was like. I was like, there's no way. But I guess, I guess that's true. It could be possible. But also, what the fuck is she doing there in the first place? What is she doing at Brittany and Santana's wedding? Yeah. yeah. Excellent question. And where the again the familiarity? Is father? The familiarity with these people. It's like, it's like they had to have planned, Brittany had to have planned the seating arrangements <laughs> specifically for to have also Blurt get married, because why else was Blaine's moms be there? Like. Yeah. The signs are there. Because they shouldn't be surprised because Blaine should be like, Mom, what the fuck are you doing here? And they're like, yeah. you guys are getting married. <laughs> Duh. Right. It's right. uh like I have high school friends that yes, my parents would be at their wedding, but it's because like our the parents are also friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yes, they wouldn't exactly. just that go to family like family friends. Yeah. They wouldn't just... Sean, where were you at season three regionals? You know, like Excellent I want to see question. you there. I don't yeah. want to see you at these these lesbians wedding that you yeah. don't even know. <laughs> you know who I want to see? I want to see Quinn Fabray. Yeah, I'll say God. it again. And I want to mm-hmm. see Judy Fabray. 
Julie, yeah, where's, I was thinking. She's curing meats. She's providing she cured doing? meats for the reception. <laughs> yes. Ju- Judy for Bray would have absolutely loved this wedding and would have <laughs> held like a very heavy glass of wine the entire absolutely. time. Absolutely. Yeah. She would have sang, yeah. I'm so excited. And yeah. She would have been excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Uh. Okay, we are so just like this because it's hard. But we're doing great. This episode doesn't have a lot of plots. It's just like the last two episodes of Glee Boot specifically have been off the wall. I think we're we're following suit of season six. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) No, I mean, I said like I honestly think Glee has broken our brains. But uh, (laughs) yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we were. Yeah, so they're they're taking pictures. Sugar's taking pictures. They're like Sam. Stop being goofy in the pictures again. It's all improv. Cord was not told to do it. This is just Cord on set. Yeah. He just showed up with set that day. <laughs> he showed up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Did the bare minimum. We love him for yeah. that. <laughs> I, want, I want someone to be like, wait, where's Miley? Is, why isn't she invited if Kitty's here? It's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. And these other kids uh, that are catering Jump scares. the wedding. Jump scares <laughs> when I see the season six. I'm like, oh! <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of shots of Madison and uh, um. McGillicuddy. I what, don't know. It's something Morgan? with an M. Matt Mason. It's Mason. Mason. And because... wait, can I say he's so hot? No. Do we agree? He's a cutie. He's so hot. I no. think he's cute. Not hot. Okay. Okay. Maybe <laughs> he's Mason giving and Brendan Yuri. Right. Oh. He's giving Brendan Yuri. <laughs> I'm behind you on that one. Do uh, yeah. not like it. Mm. I mean, okay. I guess just like if you're in the same show as Dan Chris and Court Overstreet, you're not going to be like. It's hard to compete. Top yeah. of the bill, you know? Yeah. Okay. Fine. You yeah. can have them. Yeah, you I can will. have them. You <laughs> can have... Shout out to... May... If you played Mason, Morgan, Matthew, McGill- McCarthy. McCarthy. You know what? I McGill- love McGill- you. Cutty. I'll take you and Walter. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thruple. Thruple of the century. Yeah, I'm surprised Glee never did one. But... Uh, oh, yeah. That, that, isn't, that isn't a Glee boot. I will say that. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've read early scripts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they, uh, they're, you know, they're all getting ready for the wedding. Blind is asking how they're going to afford it. Uh, Sue, so Brittany, Santana walks in on Brittany in the wedding dress again. Brittany's like, oh my God, why? And Santana's like, this is because of arranged marriages. They didn't want the mm-hmm. couple to see each other before the wedding and back out. And I'm like, um... I don't know if that's true. Maybe. But like, you know, Santana said it, so it's true. You took Marie Antoinette from Austria to Versailles. Like, she can't just back out at this point. Like, like (laughs) people would be murdered in war. Smaller venues, you know, other than royalty, it might be a thing. You know, a big misnomer is those arranged child marriages being like an, like everyone did that in history. That is Mm. a very much a royalty thing, depending on your culture. Like, it wasn't that common like arranged marriage yes but like forced marriage not as common as people think so are you saying that britney and santana shouldn't have gotten married what (laughs) (laughs) because santana wasn't factually correct no she's just you hate santana are you saying what are you saying anti-britana wait you know should what? we should we do a walkout, Allison? <laughs> <laughs> but keep the Zoom call on. Yeah. <laughs> Just like the I'm room. gonna go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not the biggest. I think Santana's very funny. I'm not the biggest stan. I okay. think. Oh, so we're just being honest. We're just being honest. You're not being a stan, honest, Tana. I think. I think her crimes are often the most glossed over. I mean, Rachel crimes are glossed over all the time too. I think yeah. those two fans often gloss over their characters' crimes the most. And I'm like, if yeah. I knew Santana in high school, I would not like her. I would not no. want to hang out to her. I would not volunteer at her wedding. I would not go to her wedding. No. You know, like I would like, I'd probably like Brittany. I wouldn't like Rachel. I'd maybe hang out with Tina, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. But I don't I think you're really thinking about like these people were real. <laughs> yeah. If you'd like, hang if out I was with them, in <laughs> don't have this, the energy to do this that. This Glee Club, I'd be like, I want to talk to Puck. Didn't he like get that girl drunk and like get her pregnant? And she was like the president of the Abstinence Club, and she got now kicked out of her dating? home. Oh, like, I'd be well, like, I, I don't want to. Now he's him. dating with. Now he's dancing with his friend's mom. And yeah, he might still be dating that girl. Yeah, I posted like one of those like um cafeteria like who would you sit with with like mm. three like uh, three yeah. random Glee characters each at one table, 
And the table was Santana, Tina, and Jacob and Israel. And that was the table that people wanted to sit at the most. And I was like, you guys, you guys are like sick. And I understand. <laughs> like you need, you need help actually. Because Therapy. like yeah. just, you, you just want to sit with Santana, but you actually wouldn't get along with her. And that's you wouldn't facts. get along yeah. with her, and you would definitely like. I would not want to be near Jacob. No, <laughs> or <laughs> even no- Tina. I'm sorry. Boring. Tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. Tina would want to be friends with me more than I wanted to be friends with her. She would tell me all about her life drama. I can, yeah. I can see that dynamic, and I'd just be like, Tina would be the friend that I'd be like, we'll hang out, but like there are times when you'll want to hang out, and I'll be like, oh, I can't this weekend. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. just because I need, not because I hate you, just I can't do it every weekend. You know. Sure. Yeah, and that's yeah. true. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I can hang out with Mike probably because he probably just, just chilling and like playing video games. You know? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah. yeah he, he wants to play <laughs> DDR at the, <laughs> at the, the arcade. arcade. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> the Lima Mall. So the, then she, they kiss. They have, this is where they have like the really big kiss. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that. Yeah. Great and kiss. then Sue comes in and they're like, no, no, no. And uh, she's like, I come bearing gifts. And Sue is, and St. Hannah's like, there's nothing I want from you. I would have the addendum, except maybe if the gift is you stop caning children. But uh, mm-hmm. she, she, bring, <laughs> she brings in, she the, <laughs> she brings in uh, my favorite character from Jane the Virgin. Uh, she brings in Abuela Lopez, who is like, and they're like, how? And Sue is like, I did reverse psychology. And so she... Sue-cology. No, college. Sue-cology. Sue-cology. Yeah. She, she used a pun. She knocks on the door and is all like, let's ruin their wedding. Let's protest. Let's attack it. And Kill she's them. like, no, that's horrible. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. And so she decides to, that, hey, you know, I don't necessarily approve, but like, I know you love her and I want you in my life and I don't want to be, be the person that brings you unhappiness. You know, I want to be there and I've been dreaming of this day. I don't want to give it up. You know, I actually really loved that. I also mm-hmm. think it's super realistic too. It's like, yeah. you know, like if you, like if, if I were to have like a falling out with my grandma who were getting married to a woman, like, I, I mean, I could probably see this happening with someone in my family. And it's just like, like if my grandma said that to me, I'd be like, I yeah. think that's enough for me that like you care about me still even if you yeah. don't agree. And St. Thomas says, says the same thing. She's like, I don't fully agree with everything you believe either, but like you're my family. I love you and we want to be there for each other. So yeah, yeah this rec- reconciliation was like very sweet. Uh-huh. And I think it was believable, except for the fact that Sue started it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, I'm not nope, not gonna argue with that. That is a hundred percent bananas yeah, but that's something like that's like almost a gift like i sometimes i wish there was people in my family that would at I least get to that yeah grateful that they brought back abuela in the final season but i will say it might have been like three seasons too <laughs> late <laughs> because so it's late. like it's like asking a lot of just like general viewers to remember this character yeah. from, mm-hmm. from three one scene. and the ago. very intense conversation that they had too yeah yeah and it's so. like the fact that they bring her back it's like i love that they bring her back and i think that like uh, they do make allusions a few times like between season yeah. three and season six to abuela but like it's just it really just it came out of like nowhere i like it it just feels weird also i will say that britney's argument two episodes before this was stronger than Sue's, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and <laughs> so for Sue to win, I'm like, oh, that I don't like that. That's like a slap mm-hmm. in the face. Yeah. Maybe she was like, she was like, oh, you're threatening my granddaughter. And that's why she went. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, know. it's it's nice. I, but the thing is, I think, I think in season six, there weren't casual viewers anymore. So no. they could pull on deep lore. <laughs> Maybe. That's, and they yeah. could say things like Faberi and just have 100% of the viewers understand yeah. what that means. Yeah, no, no explanations needed. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I get that. Yeah, OTP's hats that they give it at the wedding. Yeah, so then... I was skating through this entire episode and then I lost my shit when that Okay, happened. but can we quickly talk the first one? <laughs> So the the first that time we see that hat and it's red and it's got the white lettering, I literally was so triggered. I was like, Mega. oh, and I was like, oh, <laughs> <this is MTV." laughs> yeah, it yep. was scary. 
Yeah, that's so good. Santana in the final hour is a Trump supporter. <laughs> All right, QAnon supporter. <laughs> and people would still sit at her cafeteria table. Yes, they this fucking was. would. Yeah, so they, uh, so then, okay, so dreams are coming true, and there, Brittany has Sue get Klain, and they're like, we're not going to get in an elevator in a barn and be trapped. And she's like, no, no, no. And so she got, she takes them and Brittany's like, I had these tuxes fitted. I, you know, she probably did it while they were sleeping. She measured yeah, she them. Knows. Yep. Uh-huh. Tina was yeah. like, it's easy. They sleep really, <laughs> it's really hard. Do you have some cold medicine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she, Knocks them right that out. could have been the final <laughs> Tina plot. You know what I mean? Instead yeah. of Tina in, like getting married to Mike. <laughs> so... Yeah, they, she's like, I just want you to get married. You guys inspired me to be myself. And the thing is, Brittany never really cared about her sexuality in the same way. She didn't care about what other people thought either. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. For her to say, like, you actually meant a lot to me. Like when I was in high school, I was like, girl, you were mute most of season three. (laughs) You didn't, you didn't react to anything. Chill. This is, I don't know who this is. Yeah. And then Santana, they're like, well, Santana would never want us to upstage her own wedding, which A, very true of Santana, B, true of most people. Yeah. Even, you don't even have to be Santana level diva. It's, yeah. And there's but specifically Santana because, yes. because, yeah. because mm-hmm. fucking Kurt, I will never re- forgive him for standing up after Brittany and Santana get engaged. <laughs> yes. And Kurt to be like, actually, you shouldn't be doing this. No, I hate That's you. So rude. And the fact that she still invites him to the wedding, let alone is like, yeah. let's all get married <laughs> exactly. right now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Character assassination. Exactly. Pew she's pew. Like, she's like, <laughs> I feel like I, I'm the godfather. You know, I. I want to grant a wish on yeah, my also, wedding. Yeah. Also, like, what is this camera work that's happening? Like, yeah. oh. painful. <laughs> Yeah, so they decide... So artistic and in, like, the worst scene possible. (laughs) So they're like, why not? And Blaine's like, I guess, I don't know. They're like, this is crazy, this is crazy. Yeah, Blaine literally goes, I'm a love bot. I have to say yes. (laughs) No, literally, Blaine saying, I don't know, is the ugliest Darren Chris has ever fucking looked. (laughs) I'm like, what are you doing with your face, sir? Uh, and I, I love that I love that they're using their season five cast promotional pictures on the <laughs> <laughs> on like the dummies. I love, I'm just like and it's I like, love wait, when Kurt, that I, I, I wish like Kurt and Blaine would be like, when when did we take those? We take those <laughs> well, it's the same thing with like Sue's hurt locker yeah. uh, mm-hmm. murder board like, that she has of them. It's all just stills from the show. I love that. It's my favorite thing this about the This is a dream department. sequence. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. like, this is a dream sequence. <laughs> yes. I love it. So they're just like, get, well, I do love Sue's line. Will, will you give America what 52% of it will I legally love that. tolerate? <laughs> yeah. just, you know, and they're just like, you're America's gay sweethearts, you know, and so they decide let's just get married we were not together this morning or yesterday morning we were not (laughs) together today we're getting married but 30 is rapidly approaching in eight years exactly we're looking 30 in the face (laughs) now or never exactly we gotta make a pact and i want to ask do we have clean fans in the in the chat right now do we have cleaners like like i just want to know if you can forgive this no, I am. Oh, I get, I'll forgive it. You know, at my wedding, we had a book where people could like sign and write messages. Mm-hmm. There were two references to my relationship being better than Clayne, okay. which I was like, you know, that is a low bar to clear, but thank you. I do appreciate it. <laughs> Glad you did. Glad you did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have never cheated on someone, uh, you know, with his profile, profile picture was, was a lighthouse. Yeah. Love Recycled that. content. But it's a great <laughs> bit. I mean, I love it. I, I, honestly hate their relationship and like I get why people ship it like I totally do but I'm also like I'm not into it it's really hard to after test it when Blaine is <laughs> yeah. like I liked when you were weak and needed my protection <laughs> yeah. in season six <laughs> this and also real. Kurt is literally so rude to Blaine when they like break, like, up. break up their engagement I hate it yeah. I, it's hate like, it. I hate it I hate it so yeah. t- and I used to complain that like Finn and Rachel were toxic but like <laughs> I don't know. They're really well, they're competing together. against each other for some reason. Like these two couples. Yeah, Kurt and season two and season three are different than the rest. Yes. Yeah. That's I'll the give thing you is that. like 
the and if they got are- married then i'd be like okay yeah but mm. with all this bullshit that's four five and Wait, six no i don't know who they are i'm just like i'm just so curious because it's like how can you as a clane fan support them being like okay with a gun to their head literally yeah they're like they're like you have to get married and it's like oh i guess so but yeah because you have a fucking gun to your head yeah, it's like, yeah. they're the hostages only reason, yeah that's no, the only reason they got married like, no yeah. positive affirmation there like yes i want to get married it was no <laughs> okay. fucking way yeah and, oh i guess i don't know right yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah they're just like i guess we will like in the bruno mars song we sang it her dad's yeah. wedding. Yeah. Guess what? We're Remember getting that? married. Yeah. Like yeah. you were born, Blaine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just. Yeah. It's just like that's not. Even if I was a claimed shipper, I don't think this is what I would have wanted for them. No. You know, like to not even have their own wedding. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me sick. Yeah. I like what Alexis Reese said on our podcast that they would have eloped. They would have eloped off screen. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 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 You don't need to do it here. It's so rude. In this bar. At another person's wedding. So rude. Even if they're inviting you to do that, don't do it. When they walk down the aisle in the next scene, how can the parents immediately tell that Kurt and Blaine are also getting married? Thank you. (laughs) I don't know. They're in tuxes in a wedding party. Sure. So yeah. okay, so that the other people in the wedding party are wearing white tuxes, they're wearing, they're walking the brides down the aisle. Sure, right. I can buy that. Yeah, right. not like so, oh shit, everyone's getting married today. I think it was mm-hmm. because they they you know they sorted those couples into tops and bottoms. <laughs> Wait, no, because Canon. Wait, is Blaine? We're not no, going to well, have this Cannon, conversation. Cannon, we Blaine already says, having this conversation. <laughs> Blaine says he's Recycle not material. when Sue puts it on the plane. I think it's dumb. I don't I think, think we should have like had a conversation whether or not. Ashamedly a bottom, though. This, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable actually having this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think they're both probably whatever. You know, like, I don't really care what position they are. But I was like, oh, you're putting the, the more... F- okay, I see. I will say that Britney's top, though. We've already... I mean, <laughs> they had a kissing scene and Santana was on top. Yeah. Um, the silence. <laughs> we can okay. get and I think it's, it's not exactly what top or bottom the, means, but okay. Leave that silence know, then. Like... <laughs> the visual cues. Yeah, I was just like, interesting choices. I need Again, something warm beneath me to yeah, digest my food. Yes, I do remember. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. I think it's just, maybe it's just also weird because these characters have such not a relationship with each other (laughs) yeah (laughs) i think they're like it really highlights yeah how these characters are so loosely connected well it's because they're just gay it's like that's what it is like oh we're we're in the same you know Mm -hmm. community awesome i need to make a a board (laughs) like do you remember my murder board hannah that i made for i did a presentation my fanfic for a a powerpoint party and i did like a board connecting all their characters relationships yes it's like you would need one for Glee because they act like they all have a shared relationship, but it's really uh, a yeah, weird diagram. Tenuous. Yeah, it's tenuous yeah. drink. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they. Oh, what an old bit. <laughs> old so bit. old. Seasons 30, ago. Thirty. <laughs> thirty. I'm so the, thirty. I'm sixteen. I'm a grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They get married. We are really old people on the internet if we're quoting vines. I mean, let's be real. I'm a grandmother. <laughs> yep. They get married. They do their little vows. Blaine references real love multiple times in an episode where no one covers Carly Rae Jepsen's real, real love, which and was they're... not out at the time of the episode release, but still. Wait, that wasn't the version that I watched. It was in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Blaine actually breaks out into the song. Oh, you watch the remastered version? The remastered version. <laughs> yeah. Extended yeah. edition. <laughs> so, okay. Explain to me the logic of what's happening at this wedding you're in the audience the i guess it's the audience whatever yeah. uh you're watching this wedding are they going back and forth giving full vows or is it a single line going back and forth because there's a point where like 
uh, Blaine and Kurt are talking, having, and then the, and then Santana and Brittany are just standing there staring at each other. I was like, yeah. okay, but what does this look like? Because this reminds me of when, uh, was it Rachel and Kurt had like a sing-off at Niata? Remember when they were in college together? Yes. Do you guys yeah. remember yeah. that? Home. And yeah. home. that means those people sat through the entire version of that song twice. By I mean, two yeah. they people. sang through Defying like, Gravity three times when Kurt exactly. and Rachel. So I'm like, I was like, <laughs> is that should. the logic? But like, but this one is so weird because they bounce back and forth, right? And it's just them speaking. And I'm like, I think what they bounce like? back and forth like they showed it in the show. But that means Wait. they had to have rehearsed it. No, can I offer can I offer a third option? Please uh, help me speaking over each other. I think that it was <laughs> it was it was written as like okay, like Santana, Brittany, Kurt, Blaine, but right. then the editor right. sliced it together okay. like that. That's, That's what I'm hoping. But then I'm also kind of like, but also are they like, okay, now it's Santana's turn. And now it's Kurt's turn to say something. Yeah. I was like, you know what? Glee might do that. Who knows? Because I yeah. think it would have been too, it would have been like too boring, like as the audience to just like hear yeah. just like one person read all of their mm-hmm. vows. And then, yeah, the next three. I also, think that's how it would actually happen in a church yeah. with two weddings. Yeah, I'm talking about like real life. Yeah. yeah, like real yeah. life. And like you're in this audience of these people watching this wedding. Like, what are you looking at right now? Yeah. Okay, imagine you're Santana's family, even Britney's family. You're someone's family and you don't know these other kids and you're like, you're like an aunt and you're like, I'm sorry, who the fuck are these other people? Why are they also getting married? Yeah. Why am I watching their full vows? I do not care. Yeah. Right. Also, apparently the officiant at my wedding gave us different vows. And I don't remember because I was emotional. So part of me was like, Alyssa, do you <laughs> yeah. remember this? But I like don't remember. Really? But like, yeah, probably. So wait, like. Up. So wait, like you guys said different <laughs> vows. Like he asked me if I would obey him, but he didn't ask him if he would obey me or something like that. Oh, I God. don't remember that yeah. at all. I was like, I don't even remember the word obey happening. <laughs> <laughs> was well, really like, you signed a contract. I'm like, yeah. are they playing a thousand years from the Twilight Wedding? <laughs> yeah, like, and then did they pick it because my name is Cullen? Do they think I'm related to the Cullens from an imaginary universe? <laughs> Do you think uh, I'm related to people that would approve uh, a fully grown werewolf branding a creepy baby? This you named my daughter after the, <laughs> the Loch, Loch Ness monster. monster. <laughs> You're thinking all of that, and then you just go, uh, "I do." I do. <laughs> also, uh, I forgot to mention that Brittany in the wedding dress scene uh, at one point wears a rip off of Zendaya's Cinderella Met Gala dress that Ooh, lights up yeah. in the dark. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. Oh, wow, yeah. I will say that once they arrive at the um oh my god altar altar yeah yeah what I I feel like at that at that point they should have offered a Q and A to the audience. <laughs> yeah. I like, agree. I couldn't agree more. Hey, uh, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain your entire lore to me? Thank you. And, and what how does long does OTP stand for? <laughs> and how long What's have the guys ship? been together? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Oh wait! So you're telling me that they just got back together oh, they got back yesterday? Together? <laughs> oh, okay, uh, interesting, sure. interesting. And they had a really messy breakup, and they I were previously really... engaged, and it didn't work. And they lived together, and it wasn't working. And then they refused to fix those issues, and they're getting married. Cool. And check neck brace. was like, "Yep." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I literally want to set myself on fire when Jennifer Coolidge is like, "My husband's in the bathroom." <laughs> Oh, I, I agree. I hate that bit. I oh, agree. Goddamn Do embarrassment! I fucking hate it. Could they not afford Ken John for that scene? I, that's that what I'm thinking. Ken it's Jack like why? Show up. Don't even bring attention to it. Like don't. Like they don't even bring attention to sugar. Like they don't even address her actually being there. She's just yeah. there hanging out as if it's normal, as if she was there yesterday. I think it's, it's, sugar's fine. Always been. it's fine. Like one time, but the yeah, fact that I think sure. they have it twice. Yes, I, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. uncalled for. The things about this scene are the Jennifer Coolidge. I finally realized that Will Schuster is in this episode. <laughs> yeah, he's there. Like he's like knocking the flowers he's, like, together. It's like things. you're gonna ruin those bouquets, sir. Yeah, and Emma's three, not there. Emma's not, Emma's not there. And number three, Rachel loves to do a little like crying and then go, oh, ew. She loves to lick her tears off of her mouth. <laughs> oh, I hate that. She does this at I least three times in the series. Oh, gross. I never thought of it, but yeah, she does. Do I that. did see that. Oh, God. Gross. Did anybody notice how small the, the bride's maid's party 
is. But then like the fact that only Britannia was supposed to get married and then they have like, they have fully Will, Artie, Mike, Puck, and then including Sam, uh, Sam Kurt and Blaine were originally supposed to be over there. And only um, Rachel and Tina were and over Mercedes, to the side. Yeah. And Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. And I'm like, wait, like, just like, it just doesn't feel balanced. I just, no. it, there's so no, many things. No, put some of the guys way. on the other side, just so it's even. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Or there's a social like, construct. Throw, you're at a gay throw, wedding. <laughs> we're at a gay wedding. I get it. But just like throw fucking Kitty up there. I don't care. I just need, yeah. I need more people for need it to bodies. feel balanced. Yeah. yeah you agree. know who else needs bodies on the stage? This Glee club that we're supposed to care about. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. Yeah. They have 12 members. You, is this how they find their new members? Is it they pull like old people from yeah. this from this Wait, wedding for college? Say, and I know that this will probably not land, but in the audience there is someone from Teens React that I I clock every single time. Oh my god! Really? Wait, who? There is like a girl that is fully I think that is like standing right next to Jane Lynch that like. I I would have known her name if it, the year was 2015, but right. I I. I was she the one that was in the movie with like Cameron Dallas? I don't. One of them had a movie, and the love it. One of those boys from that era had a movie, and the love interest was a girl from Teens React. I don't. Wait, know. it's not I, this girl, is it? That's what I'm thinking. No, of. it's not that girl. It's, yeah. Okay. Um, you can continue with uh, another discourse, and I'll try to find it in the meantime. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, okay. so Santana mentions being outed, and I'm like, by someone in this Glee club. Yeah. <laughs> you know um and they they do their old vows they get married he makes the joke by the power invested in me by the internet i hate that but joke. also he it's was so an ohio old. state senator right yeah. so when he has so the ohio government but i don't I guess know ohio didn't have gay marriage though yeah but if he's if he was a senator he could still like go to indiana right i don't know can senators marry people i th- maybe doesn't isn't that like a, maybe maybe you know, like like has, captains of boats can do that it's yeah, really maybe confi- he has a like michigan boat and it's not the fact that he's you know a senator it's the fact that he's the captain yeah. of oh the boat. i would have loved if they said that i would be like i believe it of course <laughs> yes. he's a fisherman of course he goes to like michigan duh okay. The concept that just thinking right now, we're so so many changes. The concept that someone <laughs> has to be certified to get someone married when it's literally just a legal contract that people sign. Yeah. Like I understand like religiously that only some people have the ability to do it, but like legally it's a contract between two people. So like because they also you need two random people to also sign it as like but depending on the Uh state. Like in California, you don't. Like we had people sign something, but it's purely symbolic. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, in Florida, you have to have two people sign because Lyle, um, he officiated his sister's wedding. Okay, I found her. I don't know if I will be able to show you so clearly. Like, okay, so, oh, wait, no, you can actually see a lot clearer. She's right there, right next to Sue. Sitting her down. Face. Do you see her? Yes, with the bangs. Oh, Do my you goodness. Remember her from Teens oh, React? Yeah, wait. I don't remember her name. Oh. I don't. Oh, my goodness. But there wow. she is. Wow. Did you ever well, see stunning. the movie? She looks great. Did yeah, you see beautiful. the movie made by the Fine Bros? Did you see F the Prom? No. I, no. I, I, I take it that, that you did. I did. It was bad. It was like, I have low standards. It wasn't even fun bad. It was like, it was mm. the snow day. It was a big snow day in Boston. And I like couldn't go anywhere. Oh, yeah. And I like had to watch it in pieces. Because I like, I'd committed enough time where like, well, I need to finish it. But I was like, I hate this deeply. Yeah. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know they um, don't do things anymore. I don't know what their drama is, but I know that they basically got the Yeah, they were problematic, it. yeah. Maybe. Yeah, something yeah. happened. They tried, they tried to trademark just React in general. Is uh, that what kicked them off the internet? Oh yeah, God. that's what people got really upset about. Um, but it is bananas. Yeah, it's like, okay, you're trademarking just reacting in general. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Good People luck. Trying to I can't even react shit. to that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I, guess. <laughs> I just have to shut my fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah. No thought. The next scene is the toasts. Uh, the toast. Oh. Brittany's oh. dad does we the need, toast. We need to mention that Mercedes sings at last, obviously. With choice. Artie yeah, yeah, for yeah. some obvious. reason. Why is Artie there? Mercedes, yeah. yes. Mercedes, Artie, go Artie's away. planning the wedding. <laughs> He's like, I have to do something else. Yeah. yeah so, the, so Ken John gives a bad toast. 
And His name is Pierce Pierce. Pierce Pierce. Which is iconic. And Jennifer Coolidge's character, anybody know the name? Come on. Whitney S. Pierce. It just doesn't get better than this. Anyways, I'm so <laughs> tired. I mean, he's dad says a line that Andrew is legally bound to say at my wedding. Um, I've Uh-oh. brought this up multiple times, I think. The toaster? Uh, I was told I had to give a toaster, but I called Target and they're, and they're closed. closed. So I guess I'll give a speech. <laughs> Fucks me up every fucking time. I think that is the funniest line <laughs> on the series. Again? Page. No, don't say Improv. that. There's so many more Improv by Ken Jeong. <laughs> And not also, in, it was so not good. in the 10 pages. That That's joke so would have been is funnier as like a dad bit than it's I think so it was good. written to be like his actual thought process. Uh, but yeah. also, <laughs> wait, maybe I'm just like not in the loop, but like isn't Target Always mostly open? open? Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> yes, it's they're like yes. fully daylight. Yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. probably open. I mean, yeah. they're in Amish country, so maybe the nearest Target the was too so far. far, probably. Right. Okay. I just yeah. love that line. Like nobody mm-hmm. reacts to it in the audience. They're like, well, they can't. Think- the Fine Brothers took that away from they them. <laughs> well, they tried. I think it's so funny, and I I do want to actually do this at a wedding. The way that he toasts a little bit too long. <laughs> <laughs> tink 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 tink. So Everything funny. is fully silent. <laughs> He's still going tink tink tink. I also love that. Yeah, I so love bad to do that wedding, at my wedding. Yeah. You have permission I, to do that at mine. I you know, love bad wedding toasts, but if I got married and had a wedding, I would never allow them. But I, speaking of the barn wedding that I went to, oh, the toast that happened. And I didn't even know this couple that well. Like I, this is my friend's cousin and I'd met her once and I was just her plus one. And our whole table was cackling at these people. There's their toast drunk as hell. So good. I love, I love a good, a bad, a good, bad wedding toast. See, yes. I have wedding toast trauma because I was at, you know, my it's friend Josh's. a great Josh's, band name. My friend, it is, yeah. My friend Josh's <laughs> wedding. And then we talked about it later. So I had literally had been to that wedding have never spoken to his now wife and left that wedding have never spoken to her oh. um because we were there dinner was not served and this is i'm pretty sure they perform hey ya before they serve these people dinner mm-hmm. yes Rhymes. they do because she's like Rhymes. oh i know we're supposed to serve dinner yet and i'm like listen these people are starving Dar- they need judy yeah. Fabre's cured meat now <laughs> they drove to indiana <laughs> Yeah, no, it's yeah. like a two-hour drive. They spent the food budget on hats, and they're like, "You're not actually eating." <laughs> and they're they're on the eat plates the too. Eat the hat. <laughs> I will eat my hat. Yeah. So they to this wedding, like they give toast, like the best man, maid of honor, give toast, and then this other guy's like, "Actually, I want to give a toast." And then all Love the it. groomsmen start doing it. Now the ma- the bridesmaids feel bad. Oh, they no. start going. These are oh. not planned toasts. They're not organized toasts. It. We are not oh. being fed dinner. We are starving. This is there's I also love. no alcohol at this wedding. <gasps> no. Crime. Uh, the wedding was over at 9 p.m. So most of this wedding was toasts. I love this. And I was wow. so <laughs> I wish I could have been there. Mad. And I like literally, I like in two or a year and a half later, I finally got to talk to, you know, his Christy. And I was like, your wedding dress was, I really like the lace. In your wedding dress. I really I like knew, the lace. I knew, like, Beautiful you know, gowns, you don't yeah. get a lot of time. <laughs> you don't get Beautiful a lot of time gowns. to talk to the bride and groom at a wedding. I know that because they're doing a lot. So, like, yeah. I think it's something nice to, like, you think, okay, this is what I'll say. So, not, you know, but I didn't get a chance to. And they were like, we felt so bad because you can't be like, shut up, stop toasting us. Yes, but we can. knew people were yes, like, your wedding. <laughs> like, you knew they like knew this was not good and they're like we couldn't do like we could barely dance we could barely talk to anyone because of all the, these toasts and i'm like what the, the hell the planner or the dj should have stepped in and been like that was great you know yeah where is this this wedding mc where's Artie? Yeah. Cullen, where's yeah. jc you should have brought him out and like, hi i'm jc i'm here to stop the toast let's get <laughs> dinner served can we get some chicken parm up in here thank get some you chicken oh my God. Parm. i'm that putting so katie perry's firework on sorry if that offends <laughs> you that young hit it <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Glee eating their version. sad chicken parm. Oh, the sad, oh, the Glee version of that song. Yeah. Uh, so uh. they 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 do hey ya, and no one's eaten. Um, 
and again, there, no one's song. really dancing. It's all people who are from the Glee Club, right? No, but or there's also strangers. Like other there's random girlies. Random girls. Really? Like, these were the girls that I was like, how do they know these people? They don't right. have other oh, friends. Okay, right. What's yeah. the reception well, in the same barn is the yes. wedding? Yeah. So they performed they... Hey Ya while everyone was moving the seats and the tables around. No. No, they already had that move. So like, yeah. so basically, oh. yeah, so basically, okay, so this kind of is, reminds me of the, the barn wedding I went to is they had all the tables set off to the side and then they had all the chairs set up for the for the audience. And then they took all those those chairs away. But you had a cocktail hour downstairs, you know, so Ooh. that they could do all that. So I'm thinking that all happened off screen because there were yeah. no chairs there when they yeah. started the toast. Because no. he's in like the empty space, like the dance floor. Pinch on. Yeah. Pierce Pierce. Pierce Pierce. Yeah. King. Poster King. So they uh they sing that, and then it's basically just like a few different numbers at the wedding. They they reintroduce the trouble tones and the moms saying, I'm so excited. Uh Blaine's mom, who didn't even know she her son was getting married today, but had a special point her sister's outfit on hand and yeah. ready. Did Tina make those outfits? So many outfit did. changes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Santana was wearing different wedding outfits. Because I'm pretty sure that after this number, like there's like all the tassels, the wedding party changes back into their bridesmaids dresses, I yeah. think. I think that they do, yes. It's so strange. It's like, how do you have time to do that? And when are you going to your chicken parm? How humbling for Gloria Estefan to be singing on this song as much as Gina Gershon or as <laughs> this Jennifer Coolidge. Yeah. It's like, okay. All um, right. And do we think that Jennifer Coolidge's voice, I'm, I don't I think feel so. conflicted. They do the Pointer Sisters and they do Our Day Will Come. It is so boring. It is not, I'm like, I can't believe this is the the wedding of like two of your three main couples mm-hmm. and the only two that can still really make, you know. So yeah. like, um, that's the, I don't this know. Is this is the music you're giving us? Like, come on. Do you think they already blew the song budget for this entire season? Oh, and a these thousand are what the entire series. <laughs> I mean, yeah. maybe. I mean, it is an iconic song. Yeah, but they, they sing that and the couples get, you know, the Bert and Carol approve. Sam Chill. Sam Chill. Almost essentially give them a thumbs up. Yeah. They're yeah. like, okay, fine. <laughs> they're like, God. yeah. Uh, they're like, we don't have to deal with that girl anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like leave. yeah. And then uh, Kitty and Artie get some. I'm like, Kitty, that boy had a drafted breakup text for you. Yeah. And then he's also like making a pact with, with Tina. Tina. In the same it's hour. like, how, yeah, how are they a couple? I, and I, I think I said this before when that drafted, you know, text thing happened many eras ago, eons. Uh, I was like, poor Kitty, like she is getting played by this guy again. It's yeah. like she's just a child; like she doesn't deserve this. I mean, no. and she's, she's I mean, a she's pretty horrible, shitty child, but, but, but yeah, like, but still, it's like, child. This is fucking <laughs> maybe we should flip the script here. Maybe Kitty is the one playing Artie. We and wouldn't even know. To, I, you know. I hope so. She has so. some nefarious plan for him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if she can Murder. pull it off like she pulled off. The- <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, she can pull it off like she did the uh, left behind stunt. At this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, I, no, I don't mean that as a handy capable joke. At all. No, it's I don't literally know if like going to be misconstrued. I no, mean, just it, as a character wise. Character wise, <laughs> literally, like, has been assassinated. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to be clear. <laughs> then, yeah, Puck and Gina Gershon. Gina Gershon is super drunk. In their endgame. Yeah. He. <laughs> <laughs> Archie, we're ending it. Glee loves a drunk mom joke because remember Will's mom being drunk yeah. and flirting with Josh Groban? Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. when Josh Groban? Remember when, oh, wow, Josh Groban. <laughs> yeah. All the fellas triggered. But also, I mean, did I, I didn't realize how good I had it. No, mm-hmm. you never do. <laughs> you never do. <laughs> you never do. But like the, the two episodes just... ago, I didn't know how good I had it. Yeah. And I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> But I didn't hate this episode. I was just, I just kind of just succumbed to it. I was yeah, like, it was this pretty, is what's happening. It, it just kind of happened. It was very yeah. mild. There was some fun stuff in it, you know. 
Yeah. I love love, even if I don't agree with it. I know that we're like running entirely way over time. <laughs> However, I do want to bring attention to the final scene of this episode. Oh. Where they which, see where, Sue? What, where they see Sue and Sue refers to Santana and Brittany as the autistically fierce low pierces. Yes, I did and hear I, that. I totally didn't even catch that. I was like, how that did that register pass until in 2015? I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. God. And what does it even mean? Jesus. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, also, Sue <laughs> don't know. gives uh, Curtin Lane a fun weekend in, in Provincetown. Town. Right. And then the ladies, month. they get a whole month. I was like, it's Damn. because we got to get rid of them for several episodes. Yeah, yeah. Good they need to be Good justifiably point. gone. But Glenn yeah. needs to come back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they Good go point. to Atlantis, where Wonder Woman was born, as Brittany yes. says. <laughs> so uh, good. Uh, yeah, but Sue is like, "Don't worry, I won't regale you with a minority choir," which <laughs> great reference. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. uh, and she's they're like, "We need to celebrate our anniversary together every year," and they're like, "Uh, maybe every five years on Zoom." Yeah, it's like she said, and I was like, oh, jump yeah, scare. <laughs> jump scare. I agree. Right. No, I, I could hear that Skype like once. Skype noise. What's this? The... <laughs> Skype, I think, has worked twice out of like the five times I've tried to use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's yeah, insane. Skype always gives me, and maybe this won't register, and I hope it doesn't, but to have like an inappropriate um, a conversation with someone on the internet. Hmm. Is that Omegle? Oh, that's Omegle for me. Omegle or Kicker. Where, no, 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 yeah. you go the Omegle to Skype pipeline. Do you remember this? Where it was like, <laughs> okay, you're talking to someone Omegle that is probably a child predator, let's be real. And then they're like, okay, let's go over to Skype, you know? Um, and then the, the, the sound comes up. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, I mean, I, my favorite <laughs> is that uh, Mic so, drop. <laughs> Skype is the almond milk of video chats because, <laughs> yeah. like, it had everything going for it and it just got destroyed by Zoom. And that is uh, oat milk and almond milk's relationship. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, oat yeah. Milk I doesn't mean, taste good. It's also way more expensive. Yeah. I like get my coffee, but I only get it like if I order coffee somewhere. I'm still an almond milk. Person. Oatly is also not good for the environment. Neither is almond milk. It's no. true. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's good for the environment. Our podcast, bad for the planet. <laughs> <Yeah. Our podcast. laughs> the energy we use, the physical energy. Yeah, yeah. my carbon yeah. footprint is enormous <laughs> of this podcast. Okay, so that's it. We made it. We made it. Two and a half hours later. Listen, we had a lot to catch up on. It's been so long since we've talked. So. It has been a yeah. long time. All right. <laughs> Tina time. More Tina talking. In this. Tina was in it. She had roughly 36 lines, I would say. I counted, really? but yeah. Wow. That's a good reference. Tina was isn't it? in the episode. I was watching the episode and it did not occur to me that she should be counting. Correct. Yeah. I yeah. did not count any of her lines. Yeah. <laughs> Colin loves counting. Have you I mean, had everybody, everybody loves counting? counting. Everybody <laughs> loves counting. <laughs> um wait, I'm sure you've had episodes where Tina doesn't say anything at all, but she's still present, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Zero. She was present. Wait, does, that, does a particular episode come to mind? I'm just so curious. <sighs> like the majority. Yeah, because yeah. um, there was somewhere her she would have one line. It would be like, "What is the theme this week, Mister Shu?" <laughs> yeah, where it's, they're like, she is just a vehicle for moving the plot. Yeah, uh, she's consistent. I love that <laughs> consistency queen. She knows her place. Yeah, and the show loves to remind her of that. And when she questions it, they will give her a concuss concussion fantasy yeah. to remind yeah. her. Yeah, they'll kick her in the face. MVPs and LVPs. Andrew, who's your least valuable player? My least valuable... Okay, I forgot how you did this, so I chose, like, not characters. I hope that's Perfect. okay. That's fine. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so um, my loser valuable player, I don't know, um, Rachel's eyebrows <laughs> and um, the OTP hats. <laughs> yeah. Um, good choices. The, specifically the red OTP hat. <laughs> yeah, right. way that's the one I would like to add. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yes. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Allison, uh, who's your. My LVP this episode? Yeah. 
is probably oh, I'm gonna say it, Jennifer Coolidge. Oh my mm. given me the Britney backstory in the eleventh hour. Where were you? Season three. <laughs> True. That's what I I'm saying. Say, I, I do feel as though they Lisa Kudrow was the top of <gasps> right list. There. Yeah. Right but there. I, I think it was just her and Diana Agron that were like, ah, oh, we just can't make it. Yeah, just Lisa Kudrow was be, busy being Kimmy Schmidt's and, mom. And, yeah. Was Anne Hathaway supposed to be Blaine's aunt? Anne Hathaway was supposed to be Kurt's gay aunt. Oh, yeah. Kurt's Wait, gay aunt. What? In season two, they were like, they literally, there are talks, like there are red carpet interviews with like Mark Salling, sorry, trigger warning, um, of like him him being asked like, hey, is Anne Hathaway, like Anne Hathaway's coming up. And he's like, yeah, I'm so excited to share scenes with Anne Hathaway and everything. Like they were made aware that Anne Hathaway was going to be um, a character on the show. And she was going to be playing Bert's sister that was a lesbian. Oh. And she oh, was okay. going to be singing. Yeah, I mean, do you sing Fontaine? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I live, think of and Ella. it was recorded live on that soundstage. <laughs> Close up. Mm -hmm. I immediately think of Ella Enchanted. I think of oh, somebody to love. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, they already did that song on Glee. They did. Yeah. And they also did "I Dreamed a Dream." But... <laughs> a dream. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and don't go breaking my heart, which they also sing in Ella Enchanted. <laughs> and that's why Anne Hathaway wasn't on Glee. She was She's like, like oh, I, you already did that's, my that's, my, <laughs> that's my repertoire. <laughs> They're like the only song left is the one I sing that's in Hoodwink. <laughs> yeah. She sang a song in Rio, right? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Oh. God, guys, I don't have any answers for this because I literally like this episode has left my brain. I. Oh, what episode are we talking about? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, the Red Wedding in Game of Thrones. Yeah. The Red yes. Wedding season three, episode nine. Uh, I mean, my LVP horrible. is whoever took uh, Richard Madden off the screen. Crime. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Artie for being weird with Kitty and Tina. Sue for like threatening Santana to her grandmother, but also it worked out. I don't know. You're conflicted. It's You're okay. conflicted. The hats. The person the hats. who made the hats. The hats. Yeah. Yeah. That's the who PA? it really is. Don't do that to the PA. No, 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 not the PA. The person in the Glee world. The, oh, in okay. the Glee the Glee. Yeah, I celebrate them. Mm. Oh, it may have been Tina. Well, Tina. It was if the Tina. shoe fits. <laughs> the shoe Sorry. Tina. Okay, no, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're that one all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Alyssa? I'm going to go with whoever decided that it was a good idea you know, off screen to have Kurt and Blaine get married with mm. Brittany and Santana. Yeah. yeah. And That's multiple people probably. Yes. So all of them. Did Sue take Kurt and Blaine to the room? Yes. Where they okay. were held hostage and forced to get married? Yeah. Wait, what is I, that what you're saying? I, I don't know what's happening. There's like a pause, and I'm like, what's happening? Alyssa's like, please tell me the plot of this episode again. I it's forgot. 11 I 11 at night, God. and I am I am being asked in a Zoom call Did Sue take Kurt and Blaine to the room? You're tearing me apart, Lisa. She okay. wasn't invited to the wedding. No, but she had already brought Abuela. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, oh, "Okay, yeah. hey, you, you bring up a great point, though." <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, 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 we, we gotta, gotta get wrap it up. We have announcements. Uh, oh, <laughs> we have lost our fucking minds. <laughs> oh <my laughs> All right. While Alyssa figures it out, I want to be taken. I'm, to I'm the throwing room. in Blaine's dad because he didn't show up. When who Brittany apparently said, I'm gonna try and make your sons get married with me. And mm -hmm. he he didn't show up. So how about I I'm I'm so sorry. Oh, Santana's be... dad. Santana's dad. Good. Uh, her, who is a not a, a tooth doctor, doctor, a real one. A real but then one. later they say she'd be the first person in her family to go to college. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, I've never realized that. <laughs> yeah, Gloria S. Monk says that. But it's like, well, how is he a doctor? I, I love that he's well, like Santana Santana does do a, a like quotations. So I don't know what a real doctor means to Santana. <laughs> oh yeah. boy. 
He's a doctor oh, of that's demonology. So good. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. My, <laughs> the Lopez family will never be the same to me. <laughs> right, Alyssa. Uh, LVP, is it Sue? Oh, no, you said whoever's <laughs> bringing them to the wedding. I was going to start, but did Sue bring them to the room? Okay, Andrew, MVP. Um, my MVP is, there's two. Pierce Pierce, iconic. Yeah. Um, showed up late, King. Um, and Sugar Mata doesn't say a single thing, but has a dance break. And you know what? She steals spotlight. Whipping her yeah. hair back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's some hairography. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's some cool epilepsy. Oh, yeah. Deep cut. <laughs> Um, my MVP is Gloria Estefan looking directly into the camera. <laughs> right down the barrel. <laughs> looking camp right in Just the like... eye. <laughs> <laughs> Al- okay, wait, Allison, stop it. This is the last time I'll fucking tell you. You need to stop doing things f- for us exclusively in the Zoom call. You do this all the time. It's not an audio medium. Love this it. conversation is for more actually. people. This is for all the loyal Glee Boot listeners. <laughs> they will not be able to see what you just did. <laughs> because uh, it was comedy gold. Look at Gloria <laughs> Estefan who looks in the camera at me on YouTube. And that's what I just did. Uh, oh my uh, God. I hope the video is like 20 minutes long. It's just that clip playing over and over again. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have to second everything that Andrew said. Pierce Pierce and Sugar Mata. I mean, come on. I guess. Yeah, what's better than this? Yeah. Um, this guy's being dudes. Guys being dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar was immediately the person that I thought of. And yeah. she has a dance break not only during the song that she sings in, but also mm-hmm. when they do the couple song. Yeah, <laughs> she, she, she like hugs herself. herself. Yeah. 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 She, it was amazing. Self love queen. Like, well, mm-hmm. good for you, Sugar. Yeah. Um, my MVP is all those season six newbies who showed up to that wedding. And I remember someone in college, like they were like we're part of the Christian group where they're like a leader and they asked us to go and serve at their wedding. And I like wasn't insulted then, but in hindsight, I'm a little insulted. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she had better reason to ask. Like, I at least knew this woman. <laughs> These people are yeah. setting up a wedding for someone they don't know. And that mm-hmm. takes great moral virtue. And you know, I have another LVP. It's the parents of those newbie kids who signed the permission know. slips <laughs> who to go to that. Indiana to do this. Yeah. This is not mm. bettering their education. This is ruining their lives. Yeah. Wow. Put that on the shirt. <laughs> 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 well, okay. We still have to talk about the fucking music. God, music. Okay. Four songs. They were at last. Hey, y'all. I'm so excited. Our day will come. Andrew, least favorite song. This third song is Hey Ya. I, like, it does nothing. I understand that it's like a wedding staple, but not for me. And also, wait, we didn't bring up the fact that I think that is a reference to Heather and Naya themselves. Hey Ya. Oh, yeah. Does that do anything for anybody in this chat? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we got one person, Everyone, one person. Oh, wait, who was that? <laughs> was that Is there someone else in the chat? Into the camera? <laughs> you need to stop doing things. <laughs> Just strictly for us. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Who's next? Uh, Allison, least favorite song. Yeah, least favorite song was Our Day Will Come. Mm. I'm going with that one. Uh, Our Day Will Come. And also the montage song. Oh, the wedding what was montage. that called? The, the dress montage. No idea what that it's was. It's beautiful by Sophia. <laughs> Sorry, All Sophia. Caps. So not <laughs> Sophia. Sophia. The first. Sophia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm broken. Um, <laughs> me too. <laughs> me every Sunday, baby. I don't actually remember the two that you just listed. So this is a problem. Wow. There are only okay, four brave. songs. <laughs> At last, hey, I'm uh, so excited our day will come. Uh, I'm going to go 50-50. Our day will come. I don't know what It happened. was boring. It was boring, and I'm going with it, too, because yeah. it could have been a moment. It could have been something meaningful. I'm it sure there was a, a song, a love song that they haven't done yet that mm-hmm. could have worked. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, Andrew, what's your favorite song? It was, it was our day will come. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in fucking pieces. I guess. I'm like afraid to say that, but like, no, I, own I it. liked it. It's it's Heather Morris and Naya Rivera's final song in the hitbox show Glee. Yeah. And you know what? I think it was like, okay, this is annoying. I feel like annoying every time that I say a fact on a podcast, but like, I know that someone cares, but like, okay, it's originally by Ruby and the Romantics, but more famously done recently well, before her passing, Amy Winehouse, which I feel as though is yeah. a, is a tribute to the fact that um, at this point, you know, the Santana has sung a number of Amy Winehouse yeah. songs. So I think yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Even though you guys fucking hate me. <laughs> no. Hate it. You know who Hannah has also said rest in fucking pieces about <laughs> Marie Antoinette's dead son. So. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny? Really I don't remember that, but I believe that I said that 100%. I saw the Sofia Coppola movie. Yeah. Um, um, my favorite song is Hey Ya. Yeah, Energy. It's the it's fun. only one I remember. Are you going with Hey Ya, Hannah? Yeah. Alyssa? Oh, am I? I'm going with At Last. Energy and I remember that one. <laughs> Andrew's face. Andrew, stop doing stuff for us. Oh, just for us. Yeah, you need to stop doing things just for us. This is a visual <laughs> media. Yeah. Okay, but I'm like, I'm not doing. I'm not saying like, oh my god, I'm so like. <laughs> <laughs> Even I <I'm> just did. <laughs> like uh, that's just that's what you that. did. There are too many layers of irony right now. I can't. <laughs> All right. I mean, at last was. Oh, it yeah, was there. Artie. It was there, Artie's, But like, give me a, give me a Mercedes solo, and it Mer-Solo. will, yeah, a Mer-Solo, Mer-Solo, oh, and that. it'll be good. Like, it's never bad. It'll yeah. be good. Yeah. Um, is it the most basic choice? Yes, but oh well. Yeah. Um, okay. We have announcements. By the time this episode airs, the final ballot of Glee Boot will be open. But this is not just any ballot. This is the ballot for the Gleekies. <laughs> An award show all about Glee, where we have each nominated, each host has nominated a song, a moment in each category. They're based on character, ships, songs, and episodes. And we are asking everyone to vote. And then our final episode will be we will have presenters. And Allison, you will be asked to present at this award oh show. God. Yes, please. And they yes. will present the award. They will read whoever <laughs> won, you know, and uh, they will be given a Gleeky. And we will maybe try, we're going to try and get some people, other past guests, as well as uh, maybe some cast members to see if they'll present. Ooh, it's a long like shot, he's... shot in the dark. Um, mm-hmm. But even if they don't present, we might just send them a little Canva made award to their Instagram. I love that. Yeah. So we're gonna so we're good. we're going all out. We want your opinions. Um, so we, it's not like we're not voting in these. Like we usually vote in the ballot and contrast with our opinions. We did the nominations. You vote. This is the biggest Glee award show ever. Uh, we're going out with a bang with the Glee Keys. We're gonna we're gonna have our final decisions. That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. And before that, we will do a pitch where we pitch the Glee Boot. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's a and pitch battle. It's a yes. pitch battle. Yeah. yeah, Alyssa's already like, I don't have time for <laughs> I'm energy. not like, pitching. I hear you. I'm the I'm, judge. <laughs> so I am going to do just like moments I think of. Like I'm hearing a song. I'm like, okay, Santana's singing this song. I'm writing stuff down already. Mm. I'm hype. Cullen has like a whole fucking plot and I'm like yeah no. I have a whole season outlined <laughs> so, and I'm going to expand it because there, there, I didn't put anything from six I didn't put any Shania Twain I need to do some some drafting you yeah know. you need help Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we will be pitching the Glee Boo and hopefully we will finally we have been floating the idea of merch and we will probably be putting some designs of our logo and some of our more beloved quotes uh you know on a red bubble for you to it's not official that it's red bubble but we will keep you posted but yes yeah. it's sort of what we're doing so, yes yeah. so we're trying to make trying to go out with a glang yes wow oh, i love glang bang 
for bang. For bang. Yeah. <laughs> for bang. 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 <laughs> you did uh, mention for Barry. I forgot to mention that. She said, people oh. love lesbians. I think that is, so. I think that's the first episode of Glee Boot is, is Sue initiating that plan of mm-hmm. Faberi. She's walking off stage and she's like, wait, actually. Actually, that's, that's not a joke to me. Idea. I'm taking this seriously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She goes back to her Hurt Locker. Yeah. She's, oh my God. I would love a Hurt Locker just filled with Faberi stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> with I Feel Pretty, I'm Pretty just constantly on the Oh, <laughs> yes. Imagine? It's like the MySpace page uh, song yeah. that's playing. And oh you God. open the door, it starts playing. You love Heaven. it. Yeah. 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 Where can we find Gleek of the Week? At Either. Gleek of the Week on Instagram. And Gleek of the Week Pod. Gleek of the Week on Pod in- on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter is G O T W Pod and Gleek of the Week Pod at gmail.com. Send us an email, send us a gloss mail. Mm-hmm. Do whatever you want. We, also, we have merch. Um, we have merch. We have glurch, um, glut shirts, glurts themselves, uh, glugs. <laughs> I wish. Uh, no, oh, wait. yeah, we, we do have glugs. We do have glugs. <laughs> <laughs> you think glee, we have- I wish, <laughs> wish granted, <laughs> glee Uggs. I'm not gonna um, lie, I pictured boots. I want glugs. Yeah, no, <laughs> glee you can't drink weekend. out of those. Um, <laughs> you could try but yeah and then you know just come over listen to our podcast we're on apple Podcasts and spotify and also just like while you're there just give us like five stars i don't know before you even listen just give us a really nice review um it really helps so i love it they've had some amazing guests they've had damien they've had cameron they've had whoever Mm -hmm. played joe they've had Lindsay pierce (laughs) yet to be determined (laughs) (laughs) tbd Uh, we've had a few of the band members that were really fun yes, to talk to. I love the one when he talked about his face during Dog Day Show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check it out because we talked um, about that. We're like, why is Bobo Jackson so happy? We have um, <laughs> the 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 main girl from Vocal Adrenaline and the pilot, Taisha. Ty- um, oh, throughout yeah. all season one, she was very fun to talk to. Um, and then we also have listeners like you are yeah. listening to this right now. We've been on um, it. Yeah. Oh, Gleepu has been a previous guest. You've yeah. had, I think you, one of your competitions was Survivor I Will Survive versus Can't Fight This Feeling, a competition that, that was I a think hot about. topic. Wow. Yeah. yeah. People still bring that up. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. You can follow Gleepu on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We are at Gleepu Pod. You can also follow us on Tumblr, GleepuPod.tumblr.com. You can follow me on Instagram at Colin Ever After. I don't want to say my thing this week. Okay. okay. I mean, you did cry on camera today, and you know you what? That was a lot. Tell people this is not a. Video. Oh, I already did. It's not no. A video. As soon as I saw the tears, I was like, Alyssa's full on crying. I literally said, <laughs> I, missed I missed the whole thing. I, was I know. Break down. I know. Again. <laughs> All right. So week of the funny. week. We always have so much Thank fun with you guys. So Thank you for coming on. That bout will be live on our Instagram. Are Hit the okay? link. <laughs> <laughs> no one's okay. We are not okay. It is late for me, and I'm in California. I think that's one of the designs, and I haven't even worked on it yet. So, <laughs> so bring that shirt. That's okay. <laughs> it's like, did she bring them out to cash shirt? <laughs> Okay. See you next Sorry. week. We are having Katie Little, who we tried to have on props back in season three, and her audio corrupted. <laughs> well, you know what? We may <laughs> we may have to cut that because we don't know if it's gonna happen again. It could be a surprise if we have to, you know, glee. glee. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Glee boot.